Good morning. Well, afternoon. All right. I was a bit stressed out now. I got <laughs> why you now wing cat. What do you see? Do you wanna come here? Okay, to press start. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I woke up at seven today. Can you imagine? Seven. Who wakes up at that time? <laughs> Except everyone. <laughs> Why is this other cat meowing now? <laughs> right? Uh, good morning. Healthy life, I go to bed at 7. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I had to go and pick out the... What do you see? I had to pick out the baptism bracelet things. Which... Um, actually, it was pretty fast. I mean, she was picking it. I was just nodding along. I was like... Mm -hmm. Yep. That one. <laughs> yeah, I think I picked something nice. I think it's gonna be like 500 euros each. Can you imagine? A thousand euros for two bracelets for children, for babies. They better have a safe somewhere and they're gonna take it off of them immediately. But anyway, so I did that. And then we went for a coffee. And then I went clothes shopping with Marlies. And then I cooked lunch for Marlies and my brother. They liked it. Or at least they said they liked it. Which might or might not be true. And then I had to go to my mom. Because I asked her to fix my watch, like the 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 armband of the other watch, and I'm not sure if she can fix it, but she kind of said she she will ask somebody. So now I'm just gonna assume that she can fix it. <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to sell the gold as soon as they're eighteen? Probably. But yeah, now we're gonna play some, or we're gonna set up a character on TR because I think we're playing at like two. And I'm late. I didn't want to be this late, but I also didn't plan on having lunch. But I mean, I didn't plan on having lunch at all because I never have lunch. Because lunch is a useless meal. Lunch is the most useless meal of the day. Wait, I already have characters on TR, I just realized. Wait, I don't. Just kidding. Just kidding. Create new character. I guess we're gonna be a night elf. Should I be a male night elf or a female night elf? I guess I have to do female night elf, right? I don't know. Oh, it's true, I haven't called the dentist. <laughs> You're so right, I did not call the dentist. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe I call that just right now. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it.
All right. I did it. It takes a month for an appointment. Crazy. Well, I'd only, I don't have to do anything important, so. I guess it makes sense. Anyway. So, we want to be a night elf. Druid, of course. We just randomize. Eh. Wait, we have to randomize from the back. I only see myself from the back. Man, this is difficult. No. Man, am I the only one that thinks that ponytails on a night elf just look off? Wait, like, okay, I'm actually gonna ask you now. Like, the, the, the ponytails, yeah? Where's it? Those two. Don't they just look wrong? On a night elf? Like, am I just a man? Like, to me, this just looks off. I don't know. It's it's just it's just to put it like any other any other hairstyle is totally fine, but these ponytails they like I don't know. I don't like it. Uh can we just remove the flowers please and then we're good to go. I just need... Ah! Where is it? Markings? Leaf? No. Vines. There you go. Okay, whatever. Remove the thing. Oh my god, F scars. I said both. That's long. Lifted. Pancakes, none. None. Where's the lipstick? Needs to be gone. Lipstick? Why is there no lipstick? Is that skin color? Oh my god, it is part of the skin color. Wait, that is messed up. Whatever. Nagura. Perfect. Hey, Maru. Thank you so much for the 44 months. How are you doing? Hey, Rafa. What's up? Good morning, Toe. How are you? Wait. Oh, I forgot about something. I'll message him right now. Hey Remy, thanks for two months. How are you doing? I mean, I approve of these copypasta, they're great. Okay, so the blister DI is wrong, everything else seems to be correct. I like it, I like it. The blister DI is wrong. Oh, and Alfie is enabled. Song is cute, I like it. Wait. Oh, it's here.
Will there be a specific big prize for this year's Nagura Fest? Yes, that's another thing I have to think about. I need to think about the prize for Nagura Fest. I was thinking, because I have a really cool logo I'll show you. And I kind of wanted to use this logo because I like it. But then at the same time, it's not very Nagura Festy, you know? Look how cool this is. It's the Starbucks logo with the, a moonkin in the middle and my logo on the left and the right. That's super cute. <laughs> so pretty. So I don't know if I take this one or if I make him do a Negro Fest logo, a specific Negro Fest logo. Maybe if we do a Negro Fest logo, but then what do we put it on? So if I ask my friend to do a really cool logo for Negro Fest 2023, then where do we put it on? You want a... Um, a shirt. What about a shirt? I mean, I like I like putting it on like I I think mugs are always the best thing. But for Nagura Fest, I think a, a normal mug is not a good idea. Yeah, we have mugs, tumblers, pillows, paintings. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of stuff already. <laughs> Coasters, true. The coasters were nice. I like them. Coasters were very cute. I was a big fan. Um, I mean, we could just do a glass, but glasses are not that cool, I guess. I don't know. We put them on graphic cards. Mm hmm So it needs to be an item that I can order on what is it called? What is this website called for um customized merch? No, what is it what is it called again? Printful. Or does anyone have a better one than Printful? Like, it needs to be something, uh, something kind of like Printful. And it, the important thing is that I need to send them. Like, I need to order them on a website and they need to send it to, like, everywhere. It's, it can't be just American or just EU or whatever. Red Bubble, what's that? Oh, but they don't customize it, right? It needs to be customized. This is a customized stuff. Or maybe this, actually. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Huh. We did a hat as well, right? And we just did too much stuff. Let's see if we can make something on this website. Actually, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't. This is not customized stuff. It needs to be. So I have a logo and I need. To, I want to put it on something. And then this, whatever it may be, like a mug or a t-shirt or whatever, needs to be sent to people, right? So I guess it has to be Vista Print. Or Printful. 
Printful, Vista Print. I'm, I'm googling, uh, I'm, I'm redditing, you see them. Some affordable ways to make custom t-shirts, bulk order, custom apparel, any recommendations for custom apparel. There you go. Looking at some hoodies, t-shirts, and hats custom made for my business. There are hundreds of sites online. Uh-huh. Just go local. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work for me. Custom ink. Okay, what's that? Custom ink. Let's see, what do they have? Portable charger with a Nagura logo on it. <laughs> hmm. I don't know about that one. What about socks? <laughs> yeah, we're having a special stream on the 29th. Mark it in your calendars. Special stream 29th of September. A hoodie? Nah, but a hoodie with a with a <laughs> Burfest logo on it would be weird. <laughs> They're doing glasses here, but I don't think I'm gonna do sunglasses. What about <laughs> What about something like this? Slides. Wait. Did, wasn't it always supposed to be Friday? Or was it supposed to be Thursday? Wait, I don't fucking know. I thought it would be a Friday. Tournament is Saturday, right? Yeah, I thought it's Friday. Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I didn't want to do it on Friday, so I can do something Friday evening. Maybe that's. Maybe that was my way of thinking. Maybe I wanted to do a special stream on, on Thursday, so I'm not like super tired on Friday. I don't know. That doesn't matter. We can do it Friday or Thursday. Where do, when do you want me to do a special stream? Thursday or Friday? I mean, I think Thursday would be good. I can't drink with the bros and girls if you're already drunk from the Griffiths. <laughs> yeah. That's the point. But then the thing is, I have to... I guess we are practicing on TR anyway. Now, I don't think we're going to be practicing that much, right? Like, we're not going to play TR 10 hours a day or something, right? So. Maybe I just do it Friday after. Or maybe I do it Thursday. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Thursday. Thursday might be better. Anyway, what do you think about slides? <laughs> slides? No? Maybe? Call it premium slides. What do you think about these? Aren't they cute? 
No, but look how nice they are. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, what, what then? What then? Tech accessories. <gasps> oh, wait, is this like a... Like, this is a wallet, right? Oh my god, I need one of those. Wait, but not the one that he put on your phone. No, that sucks. I thought it's like a separate thing. Not a phone thing. I mean, unless... Do I want a phone wallet? No. Or? <laughs> nah. <laughs> hmm. Nah, this just seems useless. I did a pop socket already once. <laughs> Holiday gifts. Maybe they have something for Oktoberfest? <laughs> it doesn't look like it. What about a blanket? You always need blankets, right? Or a hat. Like a, 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 a thing hat, like this one, you know? I think I had. They're the wrong hats. They don't have the good ones, the long ones, you know? They only have shitty beanies. Or actually, uh... What's the difference between this one and this one? I mean, outside of the color. I like this one. It's very cute. But a Nagura Fest beanie is a bit weird. I mean, a beanie is cool in general, and the blanket is also cool. But then we have a logo that is like Nagura Fest themed. That's weird, no? What do you mean? I mean, imagine a uh, fucking Oktoberfest hoodie or <laughs> an Oktoberfest beanie. <laughs> Is that weird? That just seems wrong. I mean, I can ask my friend to make a logo that is not so, um, not so Nagurafesty. <laughs> like, not so, <laughs> like, maybe without beer on it. But what kind of logo would you make that looks good on a beanie, you know? Like, on a beanie, the logo is so, like, it's literally on your forehead. So I don't know, like, it would have to be the most simple, simplistic logo ever, and then it's it's not going to be, like, a fancy logo, right? Like, it wouldn't sunny theme. But it's about the Gura Fest. <laughs> I mean, I can make a moon and sunny themed logo. I can't do that. It's just weird that it you can win it on Nagura Fest. Like, like the logo, usually the way special streams work is that the logos are themed around the actual event, right? So if it's like a Halloween event, then it's Halloween-y, and if it's this, then it's like this, you know? So, and since this one is Nagura Fest, it would be kind of weird if it was cats. <laughs> 
Just saying. <laughs> I mean, also the beanie is just wrong for it. I think we need something else. I still don't know what though. I just don't know what. The last time I also had a hard time for the Nagura Fest um, thing. The coasters were a good idea. I need something similar to that. It's kind of hard to find anything that is that is Oktoberfest related that is not weird. Like it would have to be like a beer mug, or, or I don't know. Yeah, I can use an item that I already used before because the logo is custom, so I can use something again. That's totally fine. But the last time I did coasters, and I cannot necessarily do that again. So I would have to use something different. I don't know. This is difficult. Yeah, drinkware is probably the best. I mean, I could just do... Oh, yeah, they do have coasters as well, but I don't think I do another coaster. A bottle opener. I mean, what about glasses? There's a beer mug, but what do, what are people going to do with this? I don't know, like, I guess they're not really going to use it? Shit, I don't know, this is, this is complicated. Pine glass? I mean, this, this one? This one here? Yeah, I mean, it would be cute. It fits, it fits well. I just don't know if people care about a glass of my logo on it. I mean, I guess it's whatever. Like, just, like, people don't need to use whatever it is i'm sending them right i guess do people care if it's like a glass a pine glass cookie jars that would actually be a good idea Ooh, i like that i like a cookie jar i feel like you can always do something with them cookie jar i like that idea a lot Sure, if they have something like that, though. <sighs> An ornament! <laughs> An ornament for the tree! Oh my god, that'd be so cute! <laughs> What do you think about an ornament? That would be kind of cute.
It's kind of it's kind of a small thing though. Yeah, I guess yeah, it's true. Like it is a keepsake. It's not really something that you have to use every day or that you need a that you have to like I don't know. So I think it's okay if it's something that is not super needed. Maybe a blanket after all. <laughs> I mean, I would love a blanket, but it is a bit weird with the, like, the Griffith logo on it, I feel like. Maybe I'm wrong. It's a picnic blanket. That's kind of cute. Ooh, what do you think about a picnic blanket? <laughs> what do you think about this one? I mean, I don't know what the logo is going to be. I'm just going to ask my friend what he's going to do. The thing with the cats is a bit... I don't think the cats fit. But we'll see. I'll think about it. Uh, why is it why is it so difficult to make decisions? Somebody tell me. Am I the only one that has such an issue with decisions of any sort or kind? Also, like I change my mind so easily. It's it's insane. Like I'll think about something. It's like, oh yeah, I should do that. And then I talk to a friend, and then my friend says, I think I'll take this. And I was like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> And then another friend is like, oh, you should do this. And I was like, you, you know what? Champion, may I have a word with you? You're so right. <laughs> anyway, we need to import our uh, UI. I was distracted. I'm sorry. It happens. I don't want your tutorial. Stop. <laughs> oh, I don't have this profile. Perfect. Why is half my bars not here? Why are my abilities not here? <laughs> okay, wait, let me copy some more stuff. Oh, wait, can you not copy? Oh, shit. Yikes. Hi, Kina. I'm good. How are you doing? Custom ink sign has added to a real person to all contact options. I'm confused. What does that mean? Hey, Para, thanks for six months. Thank you, thank you. Also, hello, Emmy. What's up? Wait, 
And we're playing on live, all right. Why are we playing on live? Question mark. Because people don't have their characters set up? Square, yeah, but... I think it's more important that we practice for a tournament than to get title, right? Because we can do that afterwards. <laughs> we can get... We can get title after the tournament. <laughs> Wait, I locked them to TR again. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, my brain doesn't work. As per usual. Is it worth playing? If you like playing, it's worth playing. I can't tell you, unfortunately, if it's worth playing for you. You know, it just depends. Depends on yourself. Ooh, a casino asked for a sponsorship. Should we just gamble it out, guys? Do you know how many sponsor deals I have to decline? Just because I'm not uh, doing gambling sponsors? Yeah. If only you knew how ethical I am. Declining all of those casino and gamba sponsors. Unbelievable. <sighs> I wish I was unethical. Sometimes. <laughs> 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 Every time you go into LGQ, it's a gamble. <laughs> you're onto something here. You're onto something. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so tired. I actually stopped real. Act Wait. I don't know how accurate. <laughs> I know how accurate the smartwatch thing is. Um. But it's sad that I was never in deep sleep today. Apparently, I was only, I was always, like, this is what it looks like. Look. The pink thing is REM and the, the light blue is light sleep. So apparently, I was like light sleeping, REM, light sleeping, REM. Is that a thing? Thanks for the 14 months wide, what's up? I don't know, apparently I was just never deep sleeping, you know? Apparently that's just how it is. Then, stress level, let's see. You. <laughs> stress. I'm always high stress, I don't know... I think... <laughs> I think my body is just not working properly, like this is literally... <laughs> There's something wrong with me. Look. This is just me being awake. Just constant high stress. I don't know. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe not. Maybe you're supposed to be stressed out all the time. Is that normal? Who knows? <laughs> is it because the cabinet is still stuck? <laughs> Fortunately, I unstuck the cabinet. I mean, this app is just a, it's not a, it's not for a phone, it's from the watch. It's a Garmin watch. But this is not mine. This is my mom's. The, 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 my watch needs to be fixed. Like the arm strap needs to be fixed because it's too long. And it's like one of these metal um, 
bands that needs like he needs to remove elements to make it smaller. And I gave it to my mom, and my mom said she'll do it. Whatever that means. She might break it. Who knows? We will see. We'll see if I get this watch back or not. Oh, in the meantime, I'm going to ask him about the logo. Which day did we say? We said... 28th, right? One second. Okay, let's listen to hard music. So we're playing in plus now. <laughs> what about soft pop hits? Okay, that's not very hype. <laughs> No, this is not very hype at all. I do love... Um, I do love these kind of songs, though. If I ever listen to music by myself, while I'm, like, cooking or whatever, I almost always listen to, like, somewhat sad pop hits. <laughs> it doesn't have to be sad, but it has to be, like, slow-ish. You know? So I can sing along and dance by myself in the kitchen. That's what people do while drinking a glass of wine, of course. <laughs> this is completely normal, okay? Shut up. Hot Hit Singapore! This is a vibe. Love hit Singapore. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down. Let's listen to this. Good morning, TikTok. What's up? The girl, you were born to be 30 years old. <laughs> I think so too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is my life now. Forever. Hey, who said I'm 30? Wait a second. <laughs> Delayed outrage. <laughs> Dude, guys, listen to me. I went, I went, uh, <laughs> I went clothes shopping today and I bought like young people clothes. Yeah, I'm not old at all. If I wear these new clothes, I am gonna, I'm, I look at least or at most. 25, all right. These young people clothes are gonna make me look very, very young. Don't worry, it's gonna be great. <laughs> what do you mean, nice try? They're, they're great clothes. Uh, what? <laughs> Thank you, Fenrir. I appreciate that. Thank you. I never want to ask people, because it's like a dumb question, right? Like whenever you meet people in real life, I would love to, 
I would love for them to guess my age. But the thing is that no one ever guesses it honestly, right? Like, no one's ever gonna guess your honest age. They're always gonna, like, remove some years. Like, if they think I look, like, 35, then they're just gonna say 30, right? People are not gonna guess your age honestly, I think. This one time... <laughs> This one time, I was at a festival, and I met a bunch of people, a bunch, a bunch of guys, and then, uh, <laughs> and then they asked me to guess their age, and I guessed their age like younger than I thought, and some, and one person was still younger, like <laughs> I think I guessed his age to be like twenty nine. It's what what I said. But he kind of looked like 35. Right, so I think he looked like 35. I guessed him 29. And he turned out to be like 25. So I'm like, oh no. <laughs> it's like, oh no. I'm so glad I did not say 35. <laughs> yeah, technically only one mat number off. <laughs> Good point. Okay, guys, I have a, I have a, I have a question for you guys. So if I buy a cow, the cow is called Linda, for 800 euros, right? Then I sell the cow for 900 euros. Then I buy Linda back for 1,100 euros, and then I sell Linda for 1,400 euros. How much money do I make? <laughs> 30 gold. <laughs> I see we, we have another Reddit enjoyer in, in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but why are you selling and buying Linda back four times? You have some racing side or what? I'm not gonna tell you why. That's not the question, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she and the cow have beef. <laughs> oh. All right. Alright, anyway, so Johnny is coming here. I didn't know if we were going to keep this a secret, but uh, I guess we don't. So Johnny is coming here for the special stream. How cool is that? Johnny's going to be visiting uh, South Tyrol again. I think he mainly comes here because of the dumplings. Like, he just really wants Knadel. He just loves Speck Knadel. So he, he keeps dreaming about them. He's like, Speck Knadel here, Cast Knadel there. Fashion Knadel, <laughs> this Fashion Knadel, that, you know. Typical. Anyway, so he's gonna come here on Wednesday. And then we can do the special stream uh, special stream on the Thursday or Friday. Doesn't matter, because he's gonna be here both days. But I don't know if one day will be better than the other. I don't really know. Maybe Thursday will be better, because then Friday I can just take a day off of streaming, and then we do something. I do have to practice for the tournament at some point, probably on Friday, if I don't practice on Thursday. Oh wait, it's Wednesday? Oh yeah, true, I forgot it's reset. <laughs> Dude, for a second, I thought it's Tuesday. Dude, I completely forgot I have a vault. 
True. Oh, I forgot that I have um, Guardian selected. Does it take this again? I don't know what to buy with this stuff. You'll find nothing better in the aisles. Hey, Carton. Thanks for 77 months. How are you doing? Oh, it's 45. What can I expect? Ooh, that is so nice. Like you tried to murder Max, yeah. I'm gonna try to murder Johnny as well. <sighs> okay, we need music that is not gonna make me fall asleep. This one. I have so many sockets. Will Johnny be devising devious tasks to get you to do dumb stuff like always? Yes. Of course he will. I don't know why I keep doing this. I don't know how... I've never done a special stream with this setup here, so... I mean, I'm just going to put it on a ball and it's going to be fine. There's not going to be anything different. It's just going to be the same thing again. But I have to figure out this logo. Let's see if my friend answered. He did. Ooh. I think my friend might be busy. Oh, no, he's trying. All right, my friend suggested either a beer opener, like a, just like an opener, that you can put on the wall, that you can hang up somewhere, or, that is actually really cute, I wonder if they have that somewhere. He suggested a plushie that is a beer mug. Is that a real beer mug? Beer mug? It's like a plushie beer mug. That actually would be kind of cute. But I think that's kind of difficult to get. I don't think there's any plushies that he can customize. Plushy customize. My petsies. Oh, clone your pet into a plush. <laughs> Not like that. I think the, the plush might be a bit difficult to do, honestly. Yeah. A plushie would be very cute, though. But yeah, I think a plushie is a bit too difficult to make. Yeah, it would be very cute, Sable, I agree. Yeah, I think a plush is difficult. Let's do... Maybe just do a shirt. Or, I don't know. I don't know why is it so difficult. And he's asking about the logo being in, like, the Bavarian Oktoberfest design. And I guess so. I mean, I can ask him about this whole cat in later Lederhosen thing.
What did he have there? Um, cross? Was it a cute picture? Or what was it? What is it he posted earlier? I didn't click on it. Was it a cute logo or not? Nah? Okay, well, that's not cute. I mean, I can ask him. But, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. I still don't know what product. Oh, this is so complicated. A cookie jar. <laughs> if I find one. Maybe, I don't know. Hello. The thing is, hey, hey. I'm not sure if we've needed. I mean, six hours. It starts 24 to 26. Does that mean we can decide if the key is 24 or 26? No, that's mean. We they will tell us like last thirty minutes. Well, I mean before it starts like thirty minutes before they will tell us if the level I guess. And I think it will be arranged like on on the TGP. Some key started let's say twenty two. There was another twenty three and like one twenty four. All the all the key were on starting the same level. Oh, I thought they all start on the same I, level. I think no. Mm. So I guess that's what they meant when they said this. Okay, I guess, I guess if there's a really free key, yeah, like yeah. no it Theros, will it will start on, like on 26, and if there's a Vortex, it's Yeah, if they put Vortex or Uldama, they're gonna make it start at 24, 100%. Oh, for sure, yeah. Th they can't make the Vortex start 26, you know, you're gonna be like, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, I feel like the higher it is, the better for us. But uh, I guess custom that, toilet fine. paper. Like, when do I we... love that. It's so hard <laughs> to say. Like, I mean, I guess the logo is the most important thing. Once I have the logo, I can pick whatever I want from the actual products because um, the logo can be put on literally anything. And once I have the logo, then I know what it would fit to. Right, so let's just wait for the logo. I bought my first pumpkin spice and I feel like it tastes so weird. Is it too sweet? It's not really, s it has like a really weird taste of, I don't know, it's like, it's <laughs> like, like pumpkin? a little bit of cinnamon <laughs> yeah, that makes it pumpkin, <laughs> probably, <laughs> and like cinnamon that makes it spicy, and it's just not coming along, I don't know, I'm so sad. I thought everyone's like, it's so good. Why did you buy it from? From Starbucks. Oh yeah, I mean, I don't have a Starbucks on my package. I think it's a bit overrated. Yeah. Yeah. 
This song is so cute, but it's so slow. Why can I not just give you max professions? You I think it or... does. When you, you when you t talk to the trainer, you learn the profession, and when you yeah. talk again to it, you click something, and when you w watch the, the profession, you have like plus 1,000 on the points. Yeah, but then you need to click it all manually. Like my finger hurt uh. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just leveling the shit up. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I was I've I never was done that any professions. Like I was so happy I had help. <laughs> a a keychain thing would actually also be kind of cute. Four. Because a keychain is related to one, keys four, depletion, no. you know? <laughs> yeah, so a keychain actually would kind of be cute. Yeah. Kill us. But we did a kitchen already once. Amy, protect us! <laughs> this I fucking lantern. would have to be a... No. I don't know, it's so difficult. The last pack, Amy. I'm taking skill. Why am I dying? I got you, Amy. Careful with the bleed. Ah, the volcanic is so. Oh, mama. Shielded. I feel like I got any one, 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 one. Not in the top. They try to not die. It's quite full on you and me. I do have aggro from this Ravager now. The orbs are dead, you can do single kicks on the defender so they don't cast the shoot on us or stops. Oh shit. Oh no one died, that's an improvement. I lied, I lied, I lied. Ah shit! Fuck, my pulse oh, are What dark. did you say? <laughs> oh man, shit. Oh, but she damage. didn't take sleep work to move the arm. We have to kill this one. And then we can go. Those are cool. I just lost so much damage. Okay, you can go. Uh, shit. I don't think I can. Kicking the orb, but focus it out, kill it first. Oh, nice. Oh. Shielded. Hey Fitz, thanks for the sub, welcome. Sorry Nagora, at least it wasn't Emmy, right? That's an improvement. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, 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 the bleed! Oh no! I don't have anything for you. <laughs> yeah, be careful. I mean, now you need to kite and I need to kite. Then. Yeah, we already have two debuffs. Focus hard on moon. I 
think I need to change the colors of the shades because the shades turn red. That means I have no aggro and then I panic. Ah, yeah. Okay, now that we are in party fight, I think the next pack we have to do what we said yesterday to change the route a bit so we don't play it because it's like really terrible. Yeah, I don't have stun. Yeah, seconds. yeah, we're gonna do it because we didn't see what route we are making, but th this pack is terrible. Do, do we have some CC for them? Mm, no, no, we're gonna, we don't gonna have mark stun Stara. Sorry. Amy, you kick Stara and we put down Stara really fast. I will kick the other. I can stun in three. I will brave. Yeah, okay, stun for now. Can you uh, draw the thing? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I did. Shielded. Come on, kick. Ah, yeah, I missed my kick. I had my pop. Kill star, kill star. Then we kill broker. Oof, Ayo! Just go through all your cheat deaths. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's there for. <laughs> but that's still <laughs> Are you dead? Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Well, they always need severe sacrifice. Look, I'm here. <laughs> I need to drink. I'm a stone enjoyer. Why oh, a yeah, shade? <laughs> yeah, I need to kill the shade. I'll reveal really get something first thing that was not interesting. Ten Davis, I have not heard of that one before. Maybe somebody else has heard of this? Chat? Uh, I need like five seconds. Yep. Five, four. Yeah, you can. <laughs> 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 Your I will not allow you through. Zephyr. Let's go! You're holding the intellect for you, Nagora. Pump! I'm pumping! Pump! <laughs> <laughs> Not moving? Steal me? <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't die! But he's so fast, non turn. Yeah. Second. Zephyr. This is the French person from Bomberman, yes, so <laughs> it is. Hey, 
morning, Chachi. Morning. I didn't take sleep well. We can't skip the, the little Mobutu ski again. Yeah? We weren't skipping anyway, I guess, on the first floor. What do you mean, skip? Did you know the pack we're going after on the left here? But that's on, yeah, that but was but on the road we were like trying yeah. to cook yeah. before, but we just came in. By the Nagora uh, Sibley made a very nice suggestion to me, like for the TA. Since I can't make different race, I just make yeah. different color dragon. <laughs> 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 so I can swap. I love it. Yeah. Yemi, you have star, I have orange. Shielded. Fucking small list is so much damage. Yeah. So, Emi, are you are you happy about the shape? Yeah, very. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. We take everything and we go down. Yeah, Careful to not go before uh, Para for the envoy. Okay, there is a trick here. If you let someone go first and you hide behind the, the wall or the pillar, you don't get frogs. <laughs> like this. <tea. laughs> so many debuffs. God. I got you. Thank you. The shit got you a bit. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Nagura was right. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Para, you have purple. Amy, take orange. Because I couldn't buy the other one. I have what? Hmm? I thought I have purple. Yeah, I yeah, you have purple. I found that one. Shielded. Try to kill the shock trooper so we can go on the next. You can just go. It's one I have the key. You mean you kick next? The winds are always in my favor. Hey, I'm SXL. Thank you so much for the prime. What's up? Para, you're next. Me again. I do next. Para, you're next. Uh, 
behind me. It's a heal. I do the next. Para. Nagora beam next, please. Actually, I have my key. It's fine. Para, you're next. Oh, the meeting? Uh, oh, the meeting was nice. It was really cool. I can't tell you what it was about, but it was really cool. I do... No, I didn't get it. I do this. Para. <laughs> oh, it was cool. Nagora beam next, if she cast. <laughs> I don't think you know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty certain you don't know what I'm saying. Uh, cannot stun that. Yeah, don't, don't slow the first one too much because they are not reaching the Shield big frog. Try to kill them because they are annoying. That is true, you never know what I'm saying. Oh my god. Move far away. Vortex? My <laughs> five stacks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're both on you. Yeah. <laughs> Getting attacked. <laughs> oh. That was uh, close. I will push the first one. I do have stun here. I don't know, they're not really safe. Did your parents finally give up and set you up for an arranged marriage? <laughs> oh my god, there's a fly in my face. <laughs> Unfortunately not. We have the frog on stuff. I wish they would arrange a marriage for me. Okay, let's try to pack them all and get them under the big frog. Tax up. Okay, should be fine now. Zephyr. Alright, nice. I'm gonna grab Amy. Sure. Maybe I'm gonna grab Amy, use stone, I don't know. I will just grab Amy. Firing. Just uh, ice shards? Yeah. Is it defensive maybe for this? Shielded. Try to kick a uh, star if you can, Amy. And we, we need to interrupt the child. The child when they are casting on Para. Please. Keep 
chill soon. Give a shield though. I don't have any more stock for Sharon. Sure. Maybe huh? you can also grip one after. I love shades. I love them. Yeah, because you're gonna aggro the most. Alright. Let's jinx it though. Let me you up the stone. Can... Oh no! Uh oh! No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jinx can group someone. No, I did already. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta do it now, Gora, I believe. <laughs> oh, my heart rate just, just went up. You <laughs> said the dragon turning? I saw Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it happens sometimes. No. He just likes looking at me. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. We'll build a new world, free from their corruption. You want me to speak in my German dialect? That is no problem. What did I say? Shielded. Five, four, three, two, one. Antin, I'm free. I'm in the brunette It's okay. <lacht> und noch waren die Wolken voller Tief. Es war nicht wirklich Nebel. Irgendwie schon Nebel und irgendwie dachte nicht. Es war eine Mischung zwischen Nebel und Wolken. Und nachher hat es ein bisschen gruselig ausgeschaut. Als wie man in einem Horrorfilm war. Und dann habe ich mir gedacht, ähm. Das war Geschichte mit voller Recht, weil ich Blade über England gerettet habe. Five, four, three, Gestern. Two, one. Weil ich gesagt habe, nach dem Schacksalbmaus, ähm. Wir gehen in einen Horrorfilm. Zephyr. Oh, Und Noah hat es oh. da auch ausgeschaut, als wie in einem Horrorfilm. Huh. At the moment you said this boom. Upsie. Alright, did you understand everything? This one is fine, right? Yes. Okay, I put the turn, I do not break. Careful, the one on the right is a bit close, so we need to be like a bit on the left. Yeah. Five. Four, three, two, one. Get you dead. What did I say then? S name every word I just said. Word for word. Five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna get your death. <laughs> Remember that we absolutely need to interrupt when they are casting their spell at low HP. The thing that make uh, spawn little one. We don't want any to spawn. I'm aggro. Uh, I'm melting. Yeah. I have my stun ready. You can do one stun now. Shielded. 
I have the kick. One is still casting, we need one kick, okay good. Did Chilson? I got this. One is casting in the back. Can anyone nice? Dragon and we go. Amy, you do some kicks on star. I will care for orange. And same thing we need to mass CC when they start casting. <gasps> Oh my god, I almost walked into that! I was so close! They are starting now, do you have your stun? Okay, the minibus is here. You really need to pay attention. Don't underestimate this guy, it's gonna destroy on, on destroyed us on the real E. So done. you have to put defensive or to go away. Someone kicked it okay. I said 100% use CD survival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Wait, and I like the strategy where I was just standing on a ledge and we tanked him up. So I'm always 42 yards away. I would and now I just have to dodge the waves. Yeah. God damn it. Such an inconvenience. Working you. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the waters. Yeah. Is mana? No. no. Careful, the low one. Hey, we have the crane, thanks to the prime. What's up? Yeah, yeah, but it's gonna gas after. Okay, let's go. Uh, I don't have Zephyr. I will, I will. I will. So I won't use I any Zephyr on My this. My nature's <laughs> grace! Yeah, yeah. Can, yes. We move right. A little bit more. Shielded. I don't have. I mean, I, I won't use. Oh I will keep for the first oh, on the next. Okay, okay. So I get used to it because I'm gonna need to do this in the right. tyrannical. I'm using the range. So there's a range check weaker on on Vago that is for melee range and I just adjusted it to to only enable for Para, the enforcers star. in the freehold an and an for star, I kick orange. the minibus. Nagura you beam uh, triangle. 
on sure. enemy, you kick proper. Are you ready? Three, two, yeah. one, go. Come to middle. This is your stun first. This is raw. Knock. That works also. Can I get us um, defensive for the first one? Zephyr. You can, but the, I, I also put Zephyr on this. <laughs> Shielded. Okay, the next one out. Actually, I might be fine without anything at all. I just bark skin. Whoa. How'd I get more? I guess power was a bit. Oh, you walked out of range, oh, maybe? Away of the, this boss is so strong. He's so big, but like the the range to get uh, in melee is like so small. Same thing. Para, you will kick orange. I'm taking star. Amy, you take uh, green. And Nagra, you beam purple. Three, two, one, go. Shit, I waste my bark skin again. I keep using bark skin here because I always have aggro from these mobs. Then, then roar. <laughs> we don't have bloodlust yet. Probably should have waited for. Actually, that's what I'm It doesn't matter because the boss is dead anyway. Shielded. Okay. Nice. Remember when we tried to do this on the fucking sanguin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I mean, that's already easy. Well, it's not max range. I have more range than a normal castle, right? I have 45 yards range. Let's go. Parva 2. Yeah, one point. Ooh. So, as a Moonkin, you can outrange it. If you stay between 40 yards, it's 45. But if you're a normal caster, then you cannot outrange it, right? Yeah, you can, but you have to walk back and forth. Which is a bit annoying. But as a Moonkin, you can just stand out of range and keep casting. Wait, can we roll your halls, I mean? True. Should I reroll my key too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should I reroll my Naltharis too? Mm, I don't know. Maybe we go Naltharis or maybe we go Vortex. What do you think? Mm, I think you reroll, yeah. Okay, maybe let's go. Let's recognize. I'm so cute. So, Preorg or Vortex? <laughs> Both are great keys. It's a really hard decision. Ooh! I only can do one more, so... I don't know which one. Okay, we go Preorg then. Okay. Let's get Para destroyed by the coaster. <laughs> I mean, we only pulled two of them, so not three. Sure. Should be fine, hopefully. It's just a 28. <laughs> yeah, should be fine. Uh, where are we going, sorry? 
Pre-old. Pre-old. Okay. Gonna see the pirate. I need another coffee. I just now realized what the fuck the cats have been doing with the swing. I'm gonna. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Watching Amy damage, watching the shade. Oh, you didn't do that much. Well, I mean, <laughs> 15 minions. <laughs> okay, maybe that's kind of a lot. It's in Agora. <laughs> uh, you can have the same damage on shade, but yeah, because in Agora, how we keep running, I guess. Oh, yeah, I had a break of shades. I just <laughs> I'm a big petter. A big petter. Not as much as Mage, though. Mage just always look oh. insane on special oh, week. I need to play Frost Mage this this yeah, week. Oh, week. mama. Oh, All the juicy shade to reset my herb. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's big. Except Wanna sit here? So for the double and first out, the first pool. Do sit we here? like put defensive on the first two? Then I say here. And maybe on third you put the barrier? What do you think? I don't, I don't think, think anything because I outrange it. Yeah, but me <laughs> I'm not. Like, I have to stun for at least the two first because I'm doing things, you know? Gru Gru Dragon, ra ra ra. You can rescue Ami one threat and yeah. then I. Darkness and uh, Zephyr and Barrier. How are you and feeling, Moon? How was your nap? Okay, so yeah, like, all you the have a good on the first set so we can stay melee. Yeah. Uh, probably rescue what Amy on the second about? with the Zephyr. Yeah. And I third, I don't check. know, you can put Briar on, maybe if I'm low HP, I would just go, go with Nagora away. I can group you, because I'm on our trench too. Oh, so we, that, we, we. We, we. We, we. Shades, they, they chain, right? If, so we need to be careful when we run back to two, I think. Uh, what, 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 sorry? The chain, the, the shades are chain, right? So not going on a desk, Moon. We said not the desk, right? Yeah. That was the rule. Right, Kitty? Oh, N Nagua as a guest. <laughs> oh? Yep. A big cat, cat on there. It's been freeholds. <laughs> he has to type again. <laughs> <laughs> right, Moon, you want to type again, huh? You want to type oh, again? Oh, hold are they again? Like three moves? <laughs> it's like one paw on the desk. He's like... When she's not looking, I'm gonna sprint up. Right, Moon? I saw the two more defensive talents. Right. No, no. Five no. moves? Oh my god. Come, you wanna they go here? They are not here? baby anymore. Can I get you a blank? You want a blank? Aww. Oh. Hey. <laughs> okay, if I cook a new Moonkin passive idea, go for it. Keep on cooking. <laughs> you hiding behind my card again? Sorry, cat. So where are you going? Wait, what yeah. am I doing? Something is wrong. That's fine. You can sleep. You can sleep uh, behind my card again. That's fine. This is your space now, it's okay. Wait, I can barely move my arm though. 
guess this is my life now. Uh, are we ready? Yeah, let's go. Wait, give me one second. Uh. Oh, I'm for sure gonna forget to get a coffee. I'll get a coffee after this, Kia. Every five seconds, players within 30 yards receive it. 30 yards? When players receive five seconds of knowledge, the mushroom will bloom, granting HP mana. The 20 seconds buff to the highest second is dead. I mean, that obviously wouldn't work. Because it would be broken. That would be very broken. Also, 30 yards would be very weird, because Moonkin has 45 yards range. So it would be very weird if you would buff people within 30 yards, right? Like, that would that would be awkward with the playstyle. You would have to make it 45 yards. But yeah, you can't, you can't give Moonkin a buff like this. That would make it a support class, right? What are you looking for? Or it would be depends on how you tune it, but it would just be broken because we already have Mark of the Wild, right? Sorry, take your time. It's alright. And uh, innovate. And if we have like we another HP right. buff and a secondary <laughs> stat buff, <laughs> she has to go after that'd be kind of broken. Yeah. But I mean, I I wouldn't I wouldn't do, hate do being go OP. Here. By the way, Jinx tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's not S tier. In, in which world is Mookin oh, S tier? Vacation. Yeah. <laughs> S tier in M plus is only oh, the meta comp. And outside of M plus, Munkin is certainly not S tier. In the raid, Munkin is D tier. F tier. Right? We're F tier in the raid. Munkin just kind of sucks. Right, kitty? Like, I. I'm and then plus S tiers, Augavoker, Fire Mage, Shadow Priest. Right? Talent. That's not. Oh, there it is. Right? Did you find it? I find it. Let's go. I want to go back and take a nap. I know you're really tired. Just don't take a nap on the desk, okay? Uh, so, same thing we do on the desk. To go to the pack we lost, we send everything, and we do the same route, I guess. Excuses? Mm hmm. Uh, Five, four, three, two, one. Not on a desk, Moon. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> no! No, Moon. Don't do it. I need to stay here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Moon, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to go somewhere else. Oh, are cool. oh the, the poop man <laughs> gonna again destroy us. <laughs> you made it, fine, you made it. Fine. It's okay. You like on my phone though. She's gonna take that, okay? It's okay. Shielded. It's okay. The next would be Zephyr, and I will rescue you, Amy. I try to it's okay. Careful, poo -poo. This is Zephyr. I rescue. You also have to go a little bit off the keyboards. And my keyboard cut. A little bit off the keyboard, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was the poop. Okay, sure. What are you doing? I'm not trying to play with you, I'm just trying to get you off my keyboard, Moon. I'm sorry. You need to give me a bit of space, you know? No, that's my keyboard again. I'm not sure you can come back. Moon, why are you like this? Why are you like this, Moon? 
I, I, I let you be the mouse pad, but you need to give me some space. There's a shade on me. What the fuck? Are you sure? No, not so Emmy. Yeah, <laughs> it's the I don't think it's on you. <laughs> it was my name on it, I saw it. Yeah, this will be fun. You practice Yep. Stun as much as possible. Yeah, I, I did a pressing roll on the mod, you can do some stuns. I will brave so it's over his turn. Moving closer and closer onto the keyboard. Moon. Fuck! My full moon didn't go out. <laughs> Shielded. Fuck! Stupid volcanoes! Oh, and you're on the keyboards. I'm supposed to play like this. I got this. The they are almost dead. Careful with shit. Careful with shit. Okay, let's go. Okay, we good now. Ready? Uh, I'll get the mules. Begin your wills in order. <laughs> no quarter. Zephyr. I have nothing. Stop shooting me! Shielded. Thank you. No! Thankfully, he shot me on fortified and not on tyrannical. It's a bad bird. I'm getting a boomy of an owl. Shielded. I'll scuttle your hide. How many percentage damage Tyrannical add? Because, like, is it 20%? Uh, yeah. I feel like it's way more in Tyrannical, like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what did they do with that shit? It's weird, but yeah, yeah, I just can't say it. Yeah, no, I don't. That's the thing, Sansi. Like, I tried to not allow them on the desk, right? So the first thing I did was um, I put sticky tape onto my desk. Everywhere. Because I heard that cats don't like sticky tape. So I put sticky tape on the desk. And they don't go on the desk as often anymore. But especially the other cat, not the one that is sitting on my cat on my desk right now. But the other one specifically, yeah. yeah like yeah, at really first he was confused yeah. about the sticky tape, and at some point he just didn't care anymore. Like he literally laid down and took a nap okay. in the sticky tape. Like he <laughs> And he I, I Like whenever he stands too. up, he's like stuck to it. And he has to like really like try hard to get off the sticky tape. And then you can see there's fur on the on the sticky tape afterwards like he gets up and like he rips out some fur and he doesn't give a shit he's like nice it's like whatever so sticky tape clearly didn't work right <laughs> so i tried aluminium foil and he loves it 
he loves element of dread. Like he, he he like jumps on it and he he's just like in love with it. He's like, oh my god, aluminium foil, yay! It's like, what the fuck, dude? You're supposed to hate this. Let me kick the first on triangle. Let me. I kick. Shielded. <laughs> Guilt shatter. <laughs> I go too far, I go too far. Probably, yeah. That's just, that's probably his point of view. Everything's gonna die. Careful of the shade. There's gonna be a lot of them. Don't jump. Ah! Can I go? <laughs> I pushed them and I didn't see the vortex, they went straight back on me. Yeah. <laughs> Amy, take purple, I'm taking triangle. Para, you help me on green. She took the same time. You might have to be in the ground next cast. Sure. Stun if you can. Para, you kick next on triangle. <laughs> really, Kehoki? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, one thing that I noticed is that Sunny really hates my um, deodorant. And he just really hates it. Like, whenever I put deodorant, <laughs> he'll just like, he'll look and then he like squints his eyes and then he runs away. Okay. So maybe I just. <laughs> uh, that? A cast, I think. Yeah, Maybe I just um, wrap my desk in deodorant. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should be doing. No, he's. It's not squinting as in I like you. He's like doing the squint when he like doesn't like something. For some reason, he thinks the the smell is going through his eyes. Like when he doesn't let, doesn't like a smell or something, you know? He's a little bit of an idiot, so he thinks that it goes through his eyes, the smell. And when he closes his eyes, he can't smell it anymore, you know? Shielded. <laughs> it's on me. To jump when you put it inside. <laughs> I'm actually out of pet alpine food now. Completely out. So now they have to eat dry food. So sorry. Barrel? This is bad. Oh, uh, this is very bad. Thanks for trying. <laughs> but yeah, message them. <laughs> I messaged them about getting more cat food, and they said yes. But then he told me only one person has used the code on their website so far. Guys, you need to order more cat food and dog food from the website. So they think I'm being very useful. What are you guys good for? If you're not gonna order cat food and dog food from their website. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the South Tyrolean brand called Pet Alpine. There's a link in the Discord, uh, in the, in the chat. I'm sure, Koro's link the chat. Yeah, and there's a code where you get 10% off. I need to use it. 
So right now no one's been using it. Well, one person's used it so far. We have one Warpuna in shielded inside, so maybe focus it. So we don't get grabbed into the AOE of the boss. And you need to use it so they think I'm being useful, you know? Yeah, I know that a lot of you are from America. You can't order it there, I know. But that's suck. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Mm. Can't do much about that. Let's run. Maybe Trying. try and kill Raul, I guess. Oh, yeah, we don't have yeah, damage yeah, yeah. to alive. I'm just trying our own with the... Bury me. We we'll just have to rest with one of us. I will rest, I will rest. No! What? Did it work? Yeah. Yep. Shit. Okay, okay, we can rest. Nothing up! How about we all order to you and I send it out? <laughs> that would technically work, but it's... Like, it would technically work once, but it wouldn't be a feasible thing for the long run. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. I'm going to pee, you know, too late, but no choice. It's my bad. It's fine. Happen. Wasn't paying attention where the barrel was going. What's good timing? Everyone's here. They do ship internationally, just not to the US. Like they ship to a lot of European countries. Okay. We lost. Use defensive here for defensive. That's your cue, land lover. I have green. Wake up, Amy, take care of Moon, please. Especially for the big cast. The Ouch. Okay, okay. Shielded. I'm not getting a close. One caster still alive, it's Moon, careful. Uh, I think the reason why they don't send to America is because, first of all, they're like a pretty small uh, company. And sending it to America is a little bit... Um, like, it's it's not super easy to send food. It's not human food, I mean, it's cat food. But it's still, like... Maybe it's not... Not only is it probably complicated for them to send it, it might also just be expensive to send. We play two crushers, right? Maybe we should move on to a yeah. more... Threatening challenge from the sewers of Freehold comes a tortola back on the keyboard. I'm sorry, Kev. I'm sorry. You have to lie your hand onto not the keyboard, okay? Like here? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh no. Cat, please. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> Stop pressing buttons. But yeah, if you live in Europe somewhere, I have my breath, but I just don't want to go and you have a cat or a dog, and you want to try the South Tyrolean brand that I'm using. And you should check it out. It's very good. It's a wet food, not dry food. And it has some um, super high quality food. Shielded. Without a lot of like byproduct shit. And the cats love it. Right, Moon? You love it? And they're so kind to send Moons and Sunny's food for free. I'm not getting any money for the sponsorship, just the food. In case you're wondering. <laughs> but they're also like a low... Well, it's not actually... Uh, the company is not from here, where I live. But the owner that owns the brand used to live here in the same town that I live in. We have to which is kind of cool. 
and he knows of me. Smelly buccaneers are resilient, and they better be, because their next challenger is the brutality. He's like, so are you the gamer? The gamer? Literally, the free hold fanatic, the master of the jagged. The gamer woman? I am thus me. Para, you're next. Get off, Puna. You wanna pull it into boss of shades? Or? No, 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 just kill everything. It's like the food is so it's for sure expensive, like it's higher quality, right? But it's not okay, you can go like it's not that expensive compared to other wet in? cat food or mm -hmm. dog food. We are in. Um you have to look at the amount that is in it. Like each of these things is like 150 grams. Well, Maybe most of the, the canned <laughs> wet food is like less than that. Most of it is like 75 grams. But it's still a bit more expensive than uh, just like any cheap cat food would be. Uh. But it's also like... Shielded. It's also a bit better, right? Like, it's just like... There's less shit in it, so I guess so. Oh, we didn't oh, have a rest. No Thanks for four months. Oh, and Dame, thank you so much. Danke schön. Yeah, I'm certainly very famous. That's me. The only time where I actually thought I'm famous like, was when I was in London. On me, I don't know. At the airport in Heathrow. Dead, so I don't know the first and one somebody one recognized me, like a bartender. There's somebody working at a cafe. And I just, you know, sat down in this cafe and I was just having. I just ate something and had a drink in on my layover. No, the I double so. shark. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, I think rise it, in ten seconds. Yeah, it's fine. I will rise. We do our rise. We are CD. I mean, I have CD. I bet the bar says it is just right now. I think maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Expect to me. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna have to play. Sorry, I can't hold your head much longer. Did you get it? Yep. Other no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a disaster. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take. Let's say mm. two minutes. A bit more than two minutes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we, we need to reset. There is no way. Yeah, just reset. I think it's better. Are you oh, sure? Yeah. It's like... I'm, I'm doing. You just did two million. <laughs> well. Uh... Well, you can pressions Jinx and Para, and then they'll do a bit more. But I don't know. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> we can just do it. Just keep, I continue mean, at this bus, point. Last yeah. bus is three minutes. Right? This let's say this is now two minutes. I guess I pot here or yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. What? Why not? But that, that won't do much, I mean. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to move this cat out, off of my desk now. Come here, Moon. Come here. Come, cat, come. Come, come baby. Oh, 
Well, I guess he's leaving then. <laughs> like, fuck you. You don't tell me where to sleep. <laughs> okay, one minute, then bus is that. Sure thing. Uh, <laughs> what is it, Moon? What is it, Cut? Okay, you can also be with on me, and I just kind of. Oh, sure. I made one burger. Nice. I mean, I'm pressing my button so hard. Oh go, go, go! God. Press, press! I'm gonna be concerned. <laughs> yeah, do, do! <laughs> Blanket, right there. Easy, kid. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Kill it! <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't care about the blanket. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, 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 let's go, let's go. <laughs> and now bang, bang, bang. I, I think we're gonna lose this part here. The one we're going. Let's count. Hey, hey Moon. No. Okay. Look what I brought. The we're blankie. gonna lose this, the triple pack. Oh, someone has one. Yeah. This. This is dangerous. From yeah, the yeah. We, we're just seeing this. Wait, one wait, wait. Okay. Let's go, girls. We can do it. Yeah. Let's go. Run faster. Amy died. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe stack on each other. So. Stun. I have dropped her. Shielded. <gasps> Dude, I almost died. Oh my god, Sunny, you just... Ow! Ow! Clawing into my Make arm! <laughs> the fuck? Uh... What the fuck was that about? Jesus. Yeah, I'm ready. Just... Hey, Sir Prime. So, sorry, what's up? Pulling. Think you can You're stand gonna... against me, swine? Allow okay, me let's go. Uh. Take care of uh, myself. I'm kicking so. Ravager. Take care of the other guy. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh, he's so You're fine. Touched. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> we are fine also. We are watching. Cannons! Blast these scurvy dogs to bits! Okay. Swap the yes. here. Oh, we don't have. Okay. So it's it. It's real. Yeah. Okay. Shiny. We depleted the key. Did you think about that? What do you think about that, huh? huh? But that was like a cool one for 28, I guess. Yeah, that was good. Right, kitty. <sighs> well, we tried. We tried our best. Not on the keyboard. Not on the desk in general. That's sad. It's fine. That's the the switch from yeah, the I... Where are you going? Have to get used to the new damage on models. Where are you going, Kev? We did good to be easy. honest. Hmm? The switch feels really easy. Yeah, that's very easy. Uh, 
I'll time it next time. Jinx, right? Uh, yeah. Sing? Yeah, I think he, he's gonna be a singer. Alright, thanks for the keys. Thanks for the keys. Thank Have Bye. fun. I'm gonna Bye. go on tier to my character. Bye. 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 Alright. Yeah, now it's for short time for coffee. We're gonna get a coffee and then we um You're falling off. We're gonna get a coffee and then we might just pack some moonkin keys. I think. What is it, cat? You seem high feel right now. Are you gonna No <laughs> Don't you bite the Microphone cable. Jesus. <laughs> what is it? You want to do something? I see. I see your high fee. Uh, what can you play with? You want to play with the mouse? The one you broke already? What about that, huh? Look, there's a cable. You already broke it. You can bite through the cable or something. I don't know. You want to play with the mouse here? What? There you go. <laughs> he said he doesn't want the unplugged mouse, it doesn't move. Good point. <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grummel, <laughs> like you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go get a coffee. Short break, because my smartwatch told me to get up and move. So I will, of course, do that. And then we'll see what we do. Probably play some just puck keys, I guess. I think that's the plan. Alright, one second.
All right. Uh, doesn't look like my server is going down. Nope. Wait, is NA going down again or what? Or is it just some random EU server? I assume it's an NA server. Yeah. All right. How about a Andorat? Oh, now we see more DKs. Look at that. I wanted to do something and I forgot, as always. Go for it, yeah. Go level your uh, EU Warlock. It's a great idea. Man, I have this feeling that there is something that I have to do today. And I don't know what. There's nothing I have to do today, right? I don't think so. You're not raiding? I don't know, man. I don't know. I called the dentist. Can you imagine? Call the dentist. I don't have to go grocery shopping. Oh, maybe I had maybe the thing that I had to go to the um, recycling hoof. <laughs> but I can also just go tomorrow. So it's not that big of a deal. Wait, no. Can I go tomorrow? Yeah, I can go tomorrow. Wait, I can't even go today. Wait, I'm stupid. It's Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, so yeah, I can go today or tomorrow. Okay. Vegetable. <laughs> That's what it's called in Germany. For us, just recycling hof. And then, of course, uh, some people pronounce it very wrong. Because <laughs> why not? Because recycling is a very hard word. <laughs> The most messed up thing about the recycling hoof here is that even um, Biermüll, so the, the 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 like trash from food, you know, like if you have any leftovers and you want to throw it away, what is that called? In English? Compost? Food waste. Okay. Yeah, so food waste. Here where I live, you have to... Um, first of all, you have to recycle everything. Uh, except things that you cannot recycle. And things that you cannot recycle have to go into a trash, pa a trash bag that you get from... Um, like the community thingy. So I have to go to the to the house where the people work for the community, right? So I go up to the house and I'm like, hey, I am uh, Caroline and I live there. And they're like, oh, okay, so you get three bags. And I'm like, okay. So they give me three trash bags and those bags I can fill with um, non-recyclable stuff. And if I need any more, I have to pay more. I have to go get more bags. 
And everything else, like everything I can recycle, stuff like, you know, like paper, boxes, metal, cans, whatever, blah, 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 glass. You put to this one place. There's one single place where you have to go and put the, all of the stuff. And you also have to go there for food waste. Which really sucks because the opening hours for this recycling um, spot, I'll show you. The opening hours are Monday from 8 a.m. to noon and 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Then Wednesday from 8 to noon and 2 p.m. until 7.30 and Thursday from 7 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. So there's only three days per week where this thing is open and it's not open from Friday to Monday. So Friday close, Saturday close, Sunday close, right? So if you have any kind of food waste on Friday, then you literally, like you have to keep it around until Monday at least. Which is horrible, like it sucks. Like if you have, I don't know, if there's like leftover meat or whatever, then uh, you literally just have to, I don't know, keep it in your fridge <laughs> or put it in your freezer or something. Otherwise, it's going to go bad and there's going to be worms everywhere and maggots. Thanks for 20 months, Sammy. What's up? It's very annoying. They used to have that here too. We used to have recycling bins that they would then pick up and put into the recycling area, right? But I don't know, I guess they wanted to save money or like have less inconvenience. And then they just decided we're going to make everyone drive there by themselves. We're not going to pick it up anymore. <laughs> no, they're not connect collecting any bins. The only thing they're collecting is the non-recyclable trash bags and they they you just put it in some place and they'll pick it up once a week. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, for me, it's not that big of an issue because I can go there whenever I want. But people that work full-time from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., they can only go there on Wednesday because on Wednesday, it's open until 7.30 p.m. And on Thursday, it already opens at 7 a.m. So that means on Thursday, you have one hour between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. where you can go there. And on Wednesday, you have, like, two hours after 5 p.m. that you can go to, which is really messed up. Yes, there is a huge line and people always have to... Yeah, it, it's the line is always... The queue is always really long when it's those specific hours where people that work from 8 to 5 can go. Whenever I go, there's no queue or anything, but but whenever people go, whenever it's like 5 p.m. to 7.30, then there's always a long line. Also, during COVID, when it was locked down, they also did not open the recycling area. Like, the whole thing was just closed. <laughs> Which was so messed up. It's like, yeah, I understand it's COVID, but what are people like to... <laughs> What are we supposed to do with all the trash? I want to. And then they opened it after like a week or two. And the queue for it was insane. Like there were so many cars blocking the main roads, and they had to call the police to to like to control the traffic because there were so many people trying to get their trash into the fucking recycling area. It was so dumb.
You only go there if you have extra stuff to throw away. I mean, you have to go there a lot because almost everything that you use can be risk. Like, it depends how. <laughs> it depends what you want to do, right? Like, technically, you can put everything in like a regular garbage bag and just pay for it because you have to pay here for the garbage bags for the regular garbage, right? The non recyclable stuff. So, technically, I can just not recycle anything. Put it all in the regular garbage bag and let them pick it up. If you recycle everything, like if you recycle boxes, paper, cans, glass, all of that stuff, then you always have to drive there. The only thing you can throw away without driving there is um, the regular non-recyclable garbage. No, we don't have we don't have garbage collection except the best move. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it fills up really quickly. I personally am also really like I'm not really sure I understand what you can really recycle and what you cannot. I mean, I know the normal stuff, but whenever it comes to like plastic stuff, I'm very confused. One second, go back. At least they love the the mouse that they broke. They're really into it. Do you think I'll get invited to Akia within the next 20 minutes? What are the chances? I just wish there was organic waste to pick up. Like that's the, the most that's the dumbest thing about all of this. I personally don't mind driving there for like paper, plastic, glass, stuff like that. Because I wouldn't have to drive there very often, right? Like, it wouldn't, I would just wait until like a whole box fills up and then I'll just go with all of that. Because it doesn't matter if it lies around for, for a while, right? Any kind of paper, boxes, uh, glasses, whatever, they can just sit in my garage for a while and it's fine. But um, organic waste? You have to, like, throw it away very frequently, right? Uh, so if you have to drive there every, like, couple of days or every week, like, that's just so annoying. So if they would just pick up organic waste, I'd be so happy. Everything else I don't really care about. But the fact that they don't pick up organic waste is just dumb. I hate it. So styrofoam, they actually have a separate one in our recycling area. Styrofoam, they, they put in a separate thing. But you can recycle it, yeah. It's not part of anything else, though. It's like it's its own category. But yeah, whatever, it is what it is. I guess the, the more I have to leave my house, the better. Because then I actually see the sunlight and other human beings, you know, once in a while, you know. 
It's a good thing. I shouldn't be complaining. All right, what are we doing? I still didn't clean my car. God damn it. Yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, I completely forgot about this once. <laughs> I once went to a wedding and I forgot that your car probably has to be clean for a wedding because not only is it a wedding but you also like drive from one place to the other and so it's like this whole thing and every car gets this like thing on on their whatever it is like it's just like white i don't know it's like a piece of paper that they put on your car just so other people know that you're part of the ceremony or whatever and it's like this whole thing and i went there with like with my car being its usual self, which means, you know, it hasn't seen a washer in, in a couple of months. And I noticed as I was driving there and I was like, oh God. But then it was too late to clean. So I was like, well, it's just what it's gonna be, yeah. The thing with like cars, I, I feel like there's quite a few people, especially guys, they care a lot about their car being clean. And then they notice when other cars are not clean. From the outside, right? But I personally couldn't care less how clean my car is from the outside. Because, like, I'm not touching the outside of my car. Like, I'm not... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not cleaning my house from the outside either. And I live there. <laughs> like, yeah. So to me, the outside of the car is completely irrelevant. And I also don't notice it when other people's cars are not clean, right? Like, if I drive somewhere or I park somewhere, I'm not gonna look at another car and be like, Oh my god, look, it's so dirty. I'm just gonna be like, whatever. <laughs> Unless it's extremely dirty, you know? But other people really notice it and always, like, look at cars and whatever. I'm just like, I don't care. Also, like, windows. <laughs> Who cleans their windows frequently? They notice when other people's windows are dirty. I never notice anyone else's windows being dirty because I never clean my own windows. Because why would I? As long as I can see outside, I don't care if it's a bit dirty from the outside. It just happens, you know. But... My mom or whatever is like, oh my god, you have to clean your windows. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, I wouldn't even notice it, you know. But some people that clean their windows all of the time, they notice it Im immediately. If your windows are not super clean. <laughs> Thanks, that's 21 months high for what's up. <laughs> yeah, I should just drive more often outside when it's raining. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that happens with my car... Like, I barely ever clean my car. And um, the only thing that happens is that it sometimes has this, like, flukost, which I don't know what it's called in <laughs> English. <laughs> when it's like... Um, when it has these, like, really tiny, like, brown, like, specks on it, you know, from... I forgot the English word. Like, it's basically when the metal is oxidizing. <laughs> what is it called? Oh my god. 
Rest. There we go. Oh my god, that would that was the easiest word ever. <laughs> it's it's basically rest, but like um, you know, like tiny points. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just gonna translate the German word. Look. Rust. Dash rust. Is that a thing? Dash rust car. That doesn't look correct. <laughs> okay, these are like extreme examples, but it's kind of like this. It's when it has like these tiny, you know, see? You? Something like this. You usually don't see it unless you actually go really close. So that's the only thing that my car has, a little bit, but also not bad. It's like... Stuff like that just happens, I guess. <laughs> I go in my wife's car and there's 20 empty water bottles. I actually am also pretty bad at taking trash with me from the car. It's not that my car is like, like I never put trash in my car anyway. I never use my car very often. Like I don't drive long distances. So I never have water bottles or anything in my car. But sometimes, you know, like, like I have a thing with um, chewing gum in the middle of my, like next to the car seat. And if that one's empty, I'll buy a new one, but I'll forget to throw away the old one. And then I'll just have this like plastic thing in my in my car for a little while you know <laughs> i just keep forgetting about it i keep forgetting that when i leave my ca uh, car i should probably take it with me <laughs> yeah we do have salty roads in the wind well i don't think they use that much salt here actually i mean they do have definitely use salt um but they use a lot of gravel as well i don't know what they use exactly i'm sure there's salt as well i don't i don't use grocery bags i only ever use uh boxes so i think it's infinitely more convenient like the difference between a normal like plastic uh, grocery bag and a box is incredible <laughs> and they sell them at almost every local grocery store they just sell the the boxes um it literally just looks like this It's literally this. It's just a box like this. And they sell them in the grocery store. And then you just put stuff in there and you put it at home. And then once you unpacked it, you just put it back in your car. And then uh, you have a box forever. It's great. You don't have that? What some grocery stores used to do in the past is they would just have like a... Like usually grocery stores have a lot of boxes that they have to throw away. Because all of the groceries they get, they come in boxes, right? So a lot of the grocery stores just have an insane amount of boxes. So what the grocery stores used to do is that they had like next to the um, counter, there would be like just boxes there. Just random boxes that you could use and pick up and take with you for free. Because otherwise you just have to throw them away, right? And that's what some what some grocery stores did. But then at some point the grocery stores were like, oh, if we put the boxes there for free, then they won't buy the bags. So then they made their own boxes. Which is so wasteful, honestly. Because you could literally take any box to carry stuff with you, right? But 
whatever. <laughs> it's typical. But yeah, boxes are infinitely better to carry groceries. I love I love just having a box. It's great. Good morning, Victoria. What's up? Yeah, I know that there's reusable bags, but they're still bags, and I think they're just mo so much more inconvenient, right? I think just just holding bags inconvenient. Just carrying a box is so much better, in my opinion. Also, when you put it in your car, the box then uh, it's not gonna, like, stuff is not gonna fall out randomly because your back falls over or blah blah blah, right? And there's so much space in, like, a box like this that you almost always have enough for just one. So you're you're good to go. I sometimes even use a box um, without taking a cart. <laughs> like, if I know that I'm not gonna buy that much, then I'll pick up my box from the trunk and I go into the grocery store without a cart or anything. And I just put the stuff directly into my box and go through the grocery store with the box. Because <laughs> then I don't have to worry about a cart or whatever. <laughs> More. Hmm. Guys, I don't think this is happening. We have to join a lower key. No cute little fox. The answer is no. <sighs> I'm still tired and I'm on my third coffee. This is because I'm waking up too early. Woke up at 7 a.m. today. This is unacceptable. Of course I'm tired doing stream then. What the fuck? It's a good coffee stuck in a drawer. I actually managed to open a drawer. Tomcat. I did it. Right after the stream. It was a little bit of a struggle, but I managed. And I still don't know what was stuck in it. It's probably underneath the drawer now, and it's just gonna stay there forever. Whatever was stuck. The, the people that move in next will figure it out, maybe eventually. Okay, at this point, I'll join Anikia. I just want to press Starfall. <laughs> There's nothing special to New Moon. You have three charges, and if it's not stacked on three, it will recharge. Your first ability is new moon, then it turns into half moon, then it turns into full moon, and then it's it's new moon again. And it will always cycle like that. Nothing too special about that ability. 
If you have the talent, then you have two full moons in a row, and then it goes back to new moon. Thank you, last so. I locked in. There were 10 keys in all of Finder? What? That's impossible. Only 10 keys in the morning? On a reset day? Oh no, wait, it's not reset day for you today. True. It's... Or? I don't know. Definitely is a bit odd. Next patch will just be after BlizzCon. So I'll be going to BlizzCon, guys. I think I, I think I um I decided. At first, I wasn't sure if I want to go to BlizzCon because I was like, you know, there's just nothing really going on. It's so far away. I have to leave my house. You know, so close to the patch, probably. And then it interferes with my content, and it's like, uh. But um, I think I decided that I'll actually go now. Any one of you going to BlizzCon too? I am going. Are you going too, Sabla? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Literally a whole other continent. I have to leave my house. <laughs> you ain't too talk at night. <sighs> Listcon is early November. I hope I see a lot of uh, a lot of you guys there. What a great song. We're clubbing. Wait, what? Oh, it's an Asher remix? Oh my god, what is happening? What beast? It is in Anaheim. <laughs> Dude, if you're gonna hug me out of nowhere, I'm gonna be, um... I'm gonna be so confused. Because I obviously don't know what you look like. So he's he's gonna come out of nowhere and hug me. I'm just gonna, I have some uh, have some moves, you know. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna break your neck with one swift hand movement. So you better watch out. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm not allowed to take a mace with me into BlizzCon. <laughs> I kind of have a feeling that the security is gonna be pretty strict. So don't think I can carry a mace with me. <laughs> Maybe hire a bodyguard. Dude, I'm a little okay, I'm okay, no joke. I am slightly worried, just slightly, like I'm not somebody who is worried about stuff like this usually, but I'm slightly worried that there's going to be something at BlizzCon. Like, I don't think so, but here's the thing. It's America. <laughs> Number one, it's America. Number two, BlizzCon hasn't been in a while, right? And people hate Blizzard. Right? Like, the amount of people that have an irrational hate against Blizzard is pretty crazy. So... The combination of America and hate... I don't know. <laughs> so there's like a slight, like a slight amount of fear that there's gonna be something happening. <laughs> Also, a lot of people hate me personally, too, on top of all that. So it's like... <laughs> I 
<laughs> Someone will storm in there because his heroic account got deleted. Yes, stuff like that, you know. Who hates you? Oh, like everyone. Everyone that is not watching my stream right now. <laughs> You don't follow me, you hate me, right? <laughs> Thanks for 27 months. Press Kent, what's up? I hate soft. <laughs> so like 8 billion people exactly never knew. <laughs> no, like I'm not... Um... Like, I'm actually not joking. There are, I mean, obviously there's a lot of people that hate me. But, I mean, I'm not saying that that's... Like, it's just normal, right? Any content creator that has a decent amount of, like, followers is gonna have a lot of people that hate them, too. It just happens. Because not everyone likes everyone. And if somebody is, like, a public figure that is a little bit... That is around. Like, for example, I'm casting the MDI, TGP. I'm casting uh, Rachel first. I, you know, make YouTube videos or whatever. And if there's a person that really just doesn't like me, and they constantly get bombarded with my content, then they'll, you know, they start hating you. Because in usually, if you don't like a person, you don't like them and you just kind of avoid them, right? But that does not really work on the internet with algorithms and whatever. So... <laughs> So if you're a World of Warcraft player and you just don't like me, but then you constantly see my content, you start like you start hating people. And this is not just with me, this is with any content creator, right? I'm sure there's like lots and lots of people that hate Asmongold, you know? <laughs> On like a very deep level. <laughs> Wouldn't say hate. No, there's act like there's actual hate. Like it's not <laughs> it's like, there's actual hate. <laughs> I'm not saying that, uh, like, everyone does. Like, obviously, I was exaggerating when I said everyone hates me that's not watching my stream. But there's people who, in fact, just hate certain content creators. Obviously. Like, any kind of person that is somehow, like, a public figure. Not just, like, a content creator, but also, like, you know, singers or whatever. Or actors. Of course, they have people that actively, like, hate them. Like, actual just hate I don't know, <laughs> like, mostly it's just, um, I don't know, I don't know why, but I guess it's because you just see th see them often, and I don't know, some of it is very rational. Algorithms don't show you stuff you don't watch or click, so if they hate watch or read, then they would get more of it. Yeah, a lot of people are hate-watching stuff. Hate-watching is actually super, super normal, and the algorithms are now picking up on it, actually. Did you notice that you get a lot of... Um, like, this, especially, like, um, political viewpoints. Like, let's say you're... You're super left-leaning. And you're easy to, like, get upset or, like, you're easy, like, it, it's, you're easy to interact with something that is, like, outrageous to you. So let's say you're, like, a super left person, and then there's, like, Andrew Tate or whatever who says something fucking stupid, and then you will see what he said on your feed or whatever, even though if you're, you're not somebody that follows Andrew Tate, obviously, and you don't agree with his views, but the algorithms understand that they get more interactions by showing people the absolute opposite of uh, what your view is, right? So in the past, you would get fat information that supports your own views, right? So if you were a super left-leaning person, you would get uh, left-leaning content shown to you on YouTube, on Instagram, on everything, on TikTok, whatever. But then 
the social media is understood if they show you the opposite of your viewpoints, then they get more interactions. Because people like to, um, I don't know what you want to call it, but people like to um, just like get involved and get like upset about things. Because it's like more emotional, it's like more drama, right? Because if you see something that you agree with, then you're just like, yeah, I agree. And you keep on scrolling. It's like, yeah, I agree. But if you see something completely opposite that to you seems outrageous, then you're like, what the fuck is this person saying? What? He's so stupid. And then you feel inclined to like comment or whatever, or like quote tweets. It's like you quote tweet. It's like, I cannot believe this person is saying like this, like blah, blah, blah. You know, like it just gives more interactions, basically. So... It's possible that people um, hate you more as a content creator because sometimes they show your content to people that don't like your content on purpose. And then those people are more inclined to hate whatever you're saying because they don't agree with you at all, which is fine. But maybe the algorithms are just shoving it down their throats, right? It's a bait in directions. You can cancel in Karnia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if someone wants to watch the MDI, well, I mean, I guess you can still do. If someone wants to watch the MDI and they really want to avoid me, it's going to be difficult because I'm casting all of the MDIs. But they could watch like a watch party thing, which is what they do nowadays, right? Nowadays people can do watch parties. So they can watch someone else. You don't have to watch the official broadcast, you can just watch someone else watch the official broadcast. Or you can uh, watch the broadcast muted, I guess. Because you don't necessarily need to hear what the casters are saying. But yeah, it's, it's obviously difficult. If you don't like a caster at all, but you still want to listen to what the casters have to say, then... Uh, there's not much you can do about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't think so, Sabla. I'm just saying, you know. It's not that I have, like, an irrational fear of uh, getting hurt at LizCon, but I'm just saying. I have three canceler macros. One is canceling Incarnation, one is canceling Starlord, one is canceling Pulsar. That's it. That's perfect, Tomcat. I'll I'll keep a lookout for the Tomcat logo shirt. In before you just like give it out to to like lots of people, and then I'll just walk up to some random person wearing your shirt. <laughs> Oh, really, Sabla? Okay, that is so messed up. And they didn't ban that person? Well, actually, they shouldn't just ban that person. They should uh, call the police and actually get the police involved, right? If someone literally says that. God, it's impossible to get into a queue. <laughs> Why is it so hard? <laughs> I'm gonna queue up for... For 25 key now, I guess. 
What else are we gonna do? 24. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? A devil shadow for ski? <laughs> Perfect. And I really don't want to do underrods. Do I need an Aug Evoker? <laughs> Tomcat decoys. <laughs> I never knew it. That sounds so nice. I, I would love to have a cardboard cut out of you. Let's go. Song sounds nice. I'm a fan. And the thing is, when you when you look for lower keys, then all of a sudden they have like a weird comp that you can't join anymore. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind a twenty eight BP. Yeah, the problem is it, it is very expensive, BlizzCon. I mean, for so, especially for someone who lives in Europe, right? Not only is it very expensive, also very far. The song is so nice. Where this person's voice is very nice. Big fan. Yeah, JB, it's not that one beer is $12 at BlizzCon, it's the Hilton bar that he's referring to, I'm pretty sure. Like, because BlizzCon does not sell beer, right? Like, at the venue, it's not that you get beer, as far as I'm aware. So most people get drunk in the hotel next to BlizzCon, next to the venue, which is a Hilton. And, of course, in a Hilton bar, in a, in a hotel bar, things are just more expensive generally, right? So, but yeah, that's usually where people get drunk, where people like hang out and and um, chill. But of course, if you, if you're, if you choose a venue that is a hotel bar, then you're just gonna have to spend a bit more. <laughs> they said they sold more like beer instead of BlizzCon last time. Oh, really? I mean, so long ago that I was at BlizzCon. It's like five years ago, I think. I don't even remember. I don't remember that much. Because <laughs> my brain is bad. Probably, yeah. I think not selling beer at BlizzCon is probably a good idea. I mean, they, it depends, right? 
The problem, but the problem if you sell beer is that you have to deal with drunk people potentially, which could be bad. So maybe they just don't. And even if they sell beer, it's like I guess you just throw out drunk people. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, nice, Astro. Wait, where are we supposed to go? Oh my god, I forgot. Oh, it's Vortex. I'm on my way. Wait. I don't know a portal. Hey, Fivel, good morning. Hello, Carl, how are you doing? Amethet are mustering for another assault on the halls of origination. Break their ranks. You need a license in America to sell alcohol. Interesting. I guess they are a little bit stricter with alcohol generally in America. I remember that you you can't order alcohol to your house, right? When you order like groceries. That one's pretty normal here. Like, if I order a pizza, I can also just order beer with it. You know? And that's fine. Well, I'm actually not sure if that's allowed or if they just do it. It's possible they just do it without it being allowed. I don't know. I could also do the same thing in Austria. A friend told me that, of course. It's not that I always order alcohol with my with my food delivery. It's it's a friend that uh, let me know. <laughs> I would never order pizza and beer and get drunk while playing League of Legends. <laughs> It does not sound like me at all. <laughs> so that's where my teammates come from. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to use a rune because I got straight at one. But yeah, this one time I was at a, um, I was in America, Five, when we're, I think it was four, North Carolina. Three, yeah, I was in North two, Carolina. One. And I was at like a bar thing. And then I had a beer. And I uh, called somebody, so I left, like I went outside. Uh, with the beer on my phone. And uh, <laughs> And then the bartender like walked out to me and said, hey, you can't drink this outside. And I was just like, huh? And it was literally just illegal to drink that beer or to drink alcohol outside if it's not part of oh, like the bar. Because it was part of the bar, but it wasn't like... I like, was... Oh my god. Help! Shielded. Like there was just no like tables or chairs outside. It was just like the entrance area, I guess. I'm just tanking everything. I'm tanking all of it. And I'm getting Ugh. More mastery. Oof! This vortex is casting at us from the back. 
Zephyr. That is not very good. Shit, our tank died. Huh. Well, that's a problem. I mean, if you cut it back, we can maybe... Uh... Oh, okay. Tried. Thanks for five stuff, smoke grass. What's up? <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome to Sayemi, Burn Prof, Crazy Mage, Hagen Merle, and Raving Madness. Thank you so much. And thanks for four months, uh, Sen, as well. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Hey, Linesmith. Thanks for two months. See you too. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I died in a little dragon because of soldier dot. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the subs, guys. That is so nice of you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> what happened to you? That's a very good question. What happened to me? What happened to humanity, society? What happened to life, the universe? What happened? Discuss. <laughs> oh God, I just spilled coffee over my keyboard. <laughs> what happened to my keyboard? <laughs> Help. Okay, it was just a corner. I'm sure it's fine. It was just a corner, the buttons that I never use. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, I don't know. What happened? <laughs> it's okay. Do I actually have a second keyboard somewhere? Thinking. Sure. Yeah, I think this keyboard is totally fine. Pfft. A little bit of coffee never hurt anyone. Holy shit, that's a lot of shamans. Where did all these shamans come from? <laughs> the sponsor should be knocking on the door right now with a new keyboard. I agree. <laughs> that reminds me. <laughs> For some reason, like whenever local people talk to me about my job, they're always very confused about, you play video games for a living? You know, like they're just confused about it. And then, for some reason, one of the most asked question is how much my setup costs. Which is very interesting because no one ever asked me that, like, on my stream. Like, no one ever asks how much has your setup cost. Like, no one ever asks. So, in real life, a lot of people just come up with this question. And I don't know. Like, <laughs> how would I know how much my setup costs? But then I always have to tell them that I don't know because I got a lot of stuff for free, right? But then that sounds very cocky, you know? Like, 
Like, whenever I'm like, well, I don't know, they just send me the stuff for free. <laughs> then they're like, <laughs> like, all right, calm down there. It's like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I mean, almost all the things I have are for free, yeah. The only thing I paid for is the monitors. I didn't pay for my PC, didn't pay for this keyboard, or this headset, or this microphone, or this microphone arm. I didn't pay for the camera, didn't pay for the mouse pad, or the keyboards. Didn't pay for any of Delgato stuff. So, and then at that point, I didn't spend much money, right? So, in the end, the setup only cost me however much three monitors cost. So, it's like, you know... Well, and I, uh, I bought the mouse. Mouse as well. <laughs> Carl. But sometimes I also just tell them a random number because I feel like that's just what what, what they want to hear. So it's like, how much did it cost? And I'm just like, 100,000 euros. <laughs> They're like, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and five cents. <laughs> my very worst my very first setup was a laptop sony laptop and at some point i spilled a glass of milk over it and basically was that since then it wasn't like completely that but it would only work half the time and then i cried so I couldn't play WoW anymore. Drinking milk? Yeah, of course. Of course I was drinking milk. I still drink milk to this day. What the hell? Who doesn't drink milk? What's wrong with you? This is why I don't drink milk. <laughs> no, I did not have Oreos with the milk. Oreos are just not good, I'm sorry, but Oreos, no. No. Ringo, much better. Ringo cookies, very good. Or Bucaneve, they're also good. <laughs> I don't like, I mean, the reason why I don't like Oreos is because I don't like the white part of the Oreos, it's just not that good. It doesn't taste like anything. I, it just tastes like sugar. Which I guess, I mean, it's fine, but I don't know. It's just not, Oreos is not that great. Not a fan. <laughs> I mean, I did try. I did try once to turn the Oreo cream into a, re a substitute for milk, and it did not work. Weirdly enough, turns out. The white part of Oreos is not made of cream or milk or anything related related to it. I mean, I feel like it's not completely unreasonable to assume that the white part of the Oreos would turn into something resembling butter or milk or <laughs> cream, right? At least something that you can melt. Turns out it's not true. Yeah, it's sugar and fat. So when I melted it, it turned into oil, basically. <laughs> Which was a bit unfortunate. <laughs> I 
<laughs> an American made processed sugar circuit would never have actual milk in it. The, the one thing that surprised me the most <laughs> about American food was their yogurts. Man, I had this like at the liquid venue for the race well first. <laughs> they had these yogurts for breakfast. So just like it was literally just yogurt. Fruit flavor, like fruit yogurt. So we had like peach yogurt, strawberry yogurt. And I opened this yogurt expecting it to be yogurt. Because it said yogurt on it. So I opened up this yogurt and I started eating. And the, the consistency of it was like pudding. Like it was literally... It's like... I don't know. Like it was not yogurt-like. So I was like, what the fuck? But it tasted pretty good. So it's like weird. And then I checked the ingredients, and there was no fruit in it. None. Literally zero. <laughs> yeah, I think there's gelatin in it. Yeah, that's exactly what the consistency was. It, it, it was very, like, it was very just not good. <laughs> like, is that normal for all of the yogurt? In America, like, do you not have, like, normal, like, just yogurt? You eat like that? That is not... Gelatin? <laughs> Turkish yogurt? I don't know what that is. Turkish yogurt, what is that? Turkish... What is Turkish yogurt? Turkish yogurt is a yogurt that comes from Turkey. <laughs> Thank you. This type of yogurt is one of the most commonly eaten throughout the world and is similar in style to Balkan or Set style yogurt. Turkish yogurt is made by adding live cultures to fresh milk. In most cases, this yogurt is made from the milk of cows, though it puzzled them and blah, 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 blah. Live bacteria, such as uh, blah, 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 are added to the milk, where they consume the lactose and produce lactic acid as a waste product. In most cases, the cultures are... Yeah, so that seems like yogurt to me. So it's Turkish yogurt, the thing that we call yogurt? It's normally thick. I don't really eat yogurt anymore, so I don't know. I mean, I have some yogurt here. I can show you. All right, so it's just, I mean, this is just like, this one is just like normal yogurt, like, uh, without flavor. And it just looks like this. You know? A little bit like cream. It's not like super, <laughs> it's not like super runny or anything. It's not like a liquid liquid, but uh, it's. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like cream that is a little bit, uh, yeah, kind of like cream, I guess. Greek yogurt is different because Greek yogurt is a little bit more stiff and it has more protein in it, right? I think, like, this is not Greek yogurt. Because we, like, if I go to the grocery store, I can buy Greek yogurt. 
which is like slightly different and this is a little bit uh, more like it's less liquidy than this yogurt here I don't think this yogurt is good anymore, by the way. I had it for a while. I think I should throw this away. 20th of September. Oh, it literally... <laughs> that's today. <laughs> oh, well. I'm not eating it, though. I'm not gonna eat plain yogurt right now. Is it all now, then? I don't like eating plain yogurts. I usually just use the yogurt to make um, oatmeal. I mix it into oatmeal. It's very good. I got another coffee. I spilled some of it over my keyboard though. Guys, I can't stream like this. We can't just be AFK and Valdraken for hours and hours and hours talking about yogurt. We need to do some content. Clean your current stream. Okay, and how do I... How do I stream that? How do I get my car into the streaming room? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> what part of the time? <laughs> Play payday three instead. Nobody seems excited about it, and I'm trying to heist some banks. <laughs> Strive it in, hits a car. Good point. I didn't think about it. Oh my god, what is this song? I can't get into a group because like the main reason why I can't get into a group is because all of the groups that are posted already have my slot filled. Right? I feel like that's the main issue. Like this group here needs an aug evoker, right? They can't go without aug. This group also needs an aug evoker. This group I could join, but it's an older man. I don't want to do it. <laughs> this group I also could join, but it's a Vortex Pinnacle and I don't want to do it. <laughs> this one already has a Moonkin. And this one needs an Agavoker, and this one also needs an Agavoker and a Priest. This one needs an Agavoker. Agavoker. Agavoker Shadow Priest. It's difficult. Thanks for 30 months, pork steak. What's up? How are you doing? I live in Curse's Walls. <laughs> How are you? All good? I'm not gonna play Geogaster. I'm just gonna embarrass myself. But I guess I already embarrassed myself by just um, streaming, so. <laughs> and spilling coffee over my keyboard. Hey, Lyra. Thanks for 75 months. How are you doing? I was still living Curse's walls. <laughs> Poor girls. <laughs> I 
<laughs> saying you don't like Oreos is the only thing so far. <laughs> Man, when I was in LA, I ordered cookies and milk once. I was so impressed that you can order it. I I was so overwhelmed when I was in LA by just the sheer amount of food options that they have. Like, it's insane how much food. <laughs> yeah, like, how many different things. It just, like, was so crazy to me. That I was... Because I have... Like, I feel like I have a little bit of a decision-making anxiety. Because I don't want to order the wrong thing. I want to order the thing that I like. But then there's so many options. And half the options, I don't know what they are. So I have to check. You know, it's like, oh, what is Korean food? Oh, what is this food? What is that food? And then I have to check it all out. And then each type of food has, like, 500 million different restaurants and then each restaurant has like 500 different meals that they have to check out and it's, it's so overwhelming my brain is like couldn't comprehend and then at some point i found a restaurant finally and i started ordering stuff and once i'm ready to order the restaurant's closed <laughs> so i'm like ah oh, shit <laughs> we have to do it all again and then i found a restaurant who literally makes cookies and milk which i of course ordered but then the milk was really disgusting because it was like, it was um, this milk that lasts longer, you know, unfortunately. Like it was undrinkable, which was really sad because the cookies were good. But there's just no shot. You can, <laughs> you can offer milk to your cookies and then you just have haltbare milch. Who? Why? It's like this like super highly processed milk that you don't store in the fridge. You store it outside and it lasts for like half a year or whatever. Yeah, right? That's so messed up. I was very upset about it. <laughs> I really like the bread that lasts for a month, yeah. <laughs> H milk tastes fine. It does not. It doesn't. Don't you ever say that again, Hangin' Man. <laughs> that is a crime. Don't say it ever again. <laughs> this is no shot you can drink H milk. It's illegal. I lived in Rhode Island, they had a milkman that would deliver milk, like it was like 50s, and I'll never get over it. Wait, we still have this too. We have a milkman. People get milk delivered every morning. My mom gets milk delivered and bread every morning. Milk and bread. It's not... It's not that he comes in a wagon with horses, though. <laughs> Just come in a truck. <laughs> the thing that I remember from a long time ago though when I was much younger when I was a child we had like a like we literally had um, just like like these random like trucks that had like special items in them that they would sell and they would like go from house to house they would park there in like an area where there were lots of houses and then people would all come out of their houses and check the products of this person with a truck. And I don't know, they had like toilet paper and cleaning products and socks. I don't know. And you would just buy stuff off of this man that in a truck. It was very weird in hindsight. But we were always really excited about the, the truck man. We had the same thing with ice cream as well. The ice cream truck. But I guess that's more normal. Oh. 
shit, I don't have a turnip. <laughs> yeah, Queen Lori. <laughs> Seems like a very good idea. <laughs> Oh my god, we're doing a fancy route. Look at that. Hey, I'm not actually ready. I pressed ready, but I'm not ready. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> okay. I managed to get 550 astro power. Perfect. Oh, don't mind, shark bait. Aegis things. Shielded. That bear from, bear from was a little bit late. I use um, just normal potions. You don't want to use anything other than uh, ultimate. What is it called? Ultimate power? Ultimate power. Up for the pack mules. Okay, we got it. No, I never play Fear Balloon. Shielded. Just kill them so we don't anything and they move over I guess I don't know if pull downs but I guess it's fine Oh, 
pain stuff. Can this guy stop shooting me? Sis. This one's going right in your deadlights. Here's a shot across your poop deck. I use play dirt. Can I play that on? Is this route really needed for 24? I mean, it's a very simple route. The reason why people are doing this is because it's easier to have bloodlust for the double enforcers, because that's what's killing you in, in freehold. On fortified in freehold, one of the most dangerous pulls is the double enforcer pull here before the boss. So if you do that pull first, then everyone has cooldowns, so you have bloodlust, you have all defensives. So it's easier to do this to it to do it this way. This has nothing to do with like efficiency, this is actually slower. You would be faster if you just do a pull at the start and then move here, right? Because this way you're backtracking. But doing it this way is safer. Because you just have all cooldowns for the double enforcers. I assume I have to pull. Sorry, you smell like parrot guano. Ah! Don't come here. <gasps> Sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just, I'm getting Astro Power before the key for my Pulsar proc, because it stays. Describe skill. Great news, everyone. Shielded. Just finish this pull and then rest, or do we want to just battle rest? We don't have to. I can't also just shut them out. Oh no, I don't have shut them out. <laughs> just kidding. Aw, that sucks, Ace. Hope you feel better soon. gas cloud but watch out because that's no ordinary gas cloud <laughs> shielded
You don't have a paladin. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, technically speaking, you can also get out with... What is it called? The thing that monks can do? What can monks do to get you out? Uh, it's called Tiger's Lust, right? But I assume that we don't have it. Shit. Yeah, I would have to take the barrel for them, but if they don't know how to do it, then they don't know how to do it, I guess. We're not moving the boss into the bat. No, all the free damage. Oh my god, I avoided it. Did you see that? I avoided the grape shot by walking through it in between ticks. No, <laughs> let's go. But yeah, we're not picking up the bat through. I don't think the tank knows. The bad brood does a lot of damage to the boss. I wonder if that's a lot. Of, is that something a lot of people don't know? Possibly. I could have made uh, a TikTok about this one. Shit, I didn't think about it. Yeah, I guess it's not super obvious that the boss gets hit by just like bad brew. Yeah, so these puddles here, the bosses get hit by it and the trash too. It applies a dot to them, doing quite a lot of damage. Bury me with my and this tank clearly doesn't know because they're actively moving the boss out of them. Gonna go trigger the event. Oh, they want to last the pool. Shit. And I'm not there. Didn't realize we're doing a big pool. And place your bets. We got a new set of big <laughs> also didn't last. That's I'm here now. Yes, I did not know we we're gonna do a huge pull here. Nice. All right, we're going. We're going. Oh my god, I'm just being. <laughs> Dude, did you see that? Shielded. <laughs> I just got gripped around everywhere. This is, this is a slightly risky pull. With like two harpooners and uh, and a crusher. But I guess you respawn here, so I guess it's fine. If you die. Hey, Aerith. Thank you so much for the Prime. What's up? <gasps> um. Yeah, the crushes do a lot of damage on Fortified. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I think it just keeps dying. You want to reset? Why is he question marking? Fuck. Shit. 
shielded. We should move on to a more threatening challenge. From the sewers of Freeman comes a tortolan brigand who makes it his duty to totally hurt you. <laughs> he is the dynamo of defense, uh -huh. the sergeant of shell shock, the hellion in a half shell, Ludwig. Hey, what should we pull, Ludwig? Do we have any harpooners? We do not. Okay. Let's see this guy. Okay, we should be fine. These knobs do nothing. Except the shades. That's a bit unfortunate. Shielded. Oh shit. Being sandwiched. Priest can't come back. So we're playing this without a healer until... Ludwig is that. It's okay though, no, it's that soon. Perfect. Ludwig goes down! What a fight! These smelly buccaneers are resilient! And they better be because they should have saved my pulse are the epitome of brutality. Our champion that sleeps with the fishes, literally, the three hole fanatic, the master of the jagged jawbone jab, the powerful pugilist predator. Oh, shit. Huh. I got gripped into a uh, shade fixate. And Scrapper fixed it. Shielded. I like this priest. I always get perfect PIs. Valadir, what's up? How are you doing? I'm glad you enjoyed here. I'm glad you're vibing with us. But don't worry, we're also... Oh my god. You good? <laughs> I'm just smiling a lot because I'm dead on the inside. And I try to cover my emotions by smiling a lot on the outside. Don't get fooled by my smile. Don't get fooled. It's all a facade. Is 
same. <laughs> Shit. I need to cast this full moon right now. There you go. My Shit. breath of ends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, something has to be wrong with us, right? Why else will we do M plus at this point? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait, do we want to skip this? Uh, okay. We can rest from the top. Oh no, did he release? But why? Oh. Hey, we can go, I guess. We don't have lust just yet. Zephyr. I'll soothe this enforcer. Because it was buffed. A painful motivation. I did not get my full moon into um, Breath of Eons. <gasps> That's a frontal! Oh my god, I saw that super late. Alright, that's ballsy. I see a dead tank. It is a guardian druid though, so maybe not. Shatter? Shatter? Oh my god, they're somehow not dead yet. Men, equate these scallywags with our heavy guns. We're doing it, we're doing it. Men, equate these scallywags with our heavy guns. All hands on deck. with our heavy guns. All hands on deck! <laughs> Jenkins. I think you're onto something here. Shielded. With our heavy guns. Swap the deck with their gizzards. You're very good at stacking this up. Oh wow. 
Nice, my coolants are gonna be ready for 30% for maximum petting. I cannot wait. And Pia, let's go. Big pet. Who the boss is that already? Shit. Boss dying too fast. Equate these scallywags with our heavy guns. Swap the deck with their gizzards. Alright, nice, nice. Oh, Baladiria. <laughs> she's always so happy, that's why she spams and plus to feel some depressed, so... <laughs> that is actually a good point, yeah. Too optimistic all the time and too happy, I need to... I need to feel some... Uh, some negativity. But, so here's the thing, right? <laughs> during the week, I am happy, but not as happy as I am on the weekend, right? So during the week, all I have to do is play some in plus to keep my excitement levels down and to, to, you know, have some negativity in my life. And on the weekend, I'm like even happier than I am during the week because it's weekend, so I have to get a bigger dose of negativity, so I usually play League of Legends to compensate. It works pretty well, usually. <laughs> Hi, it's a 30 now flare, but then he does Voker. Self-medicating with game tilt, yeah. Oh, that sounds amazing, Flappy. I would love to deplete a 29 VP. Probably depleting it on the first trash pull already, so that's amazing. The faster they deplete, the better. MVP is great, the only dungeon with a 3 minute timer. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I'm opening my, my Chrome, and my, my tabs, my Chrome tabs are... Twitch, Turkish Yogurt, and Price Carton. <laughs> Flugrost. Oktoberfest cat. <laughs> you know we had a great day if these are my chrome tabs. <laughs> Perfect. Why would I be closing any tabs? What the hell? Are you a tab closer? Or a leave tab open person? Thanks for 14 months, Saxaris, what's up? I'm more of a open new tab for everything that I do person. Because you never know. Maybe you want to go back to a tab you had open previously. What a... One thing that I do it that is a really bad habit though is that I'll make new windows, not just new tabs. Like I'll move one tab out of Chrome to make a new window, and at some point I'll have like four or five different windows open, and each window has different tabs open. <laughs> that is a bit um, you know, it's not ideal. It's not an ideal situation. Amethyst are 
mustering for another assault on the halls of origination. Break their ranks and scatter them to the winds. So yesterday I tried to connect this watch to my spin bike for pulse, for heart rate, and it connected, and then it didn't show the pulse though, and now I'm very confused on what it was actually doing. Because what else would I connect my watch for? Like what would be the purpose for me to connect a smartwatch to my spin bike, if not for the heart rate? So I don't know what it was doing. It wasn't tracking my heart rate. So now I'm confused. If if the watch would, would uh, actually use the spin back for me, that'd be great. But uh, that it didn't seem didn't seem that way. The <laughs> watch sees that people. Man, that's such a good movie. I should watch it again. You scared of first dragon? I'm scared of the first trash pool. That's all I'm scared of. I am from Italy, South Tyrol. What time it is? I don't know, I can't read my time on my watch because I put a normal thingy, you know, and I can't read an analog clock. Clock, <laughs> I can't speak. I can't read an analog one, but it looks prettier. So... <laughs> it is 5.45 actually. <laughs> you joking? <laughs> well, I'm not... I'm half joking. I can read an analog clock, but it just takes me a little while. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like... There are some people who look at their watch and they're immediately like, it is 3.46. And I'm just like, I look at my watch and I'm like, okay, here's 12. This is 9. This is the hour part. This is, you know. <laughs> Why put an analog clock if you can't immediately read them? Because I don't look at my watch for the time. Duh. Why would I look at my wristwatch for the time when I can look at my phone? Oh, I've been wearing another watch that doesn't even work for the longest time. Like, <laughs> before I was wearing the smartwatch, I wore another watch that is literally just a watch. It's just a watch. But it didn't work for months. <laughs> It literally it just doesn't work anymore. It just stopped working. I think the batteries, batteries that or whatever. <laughs> so, but no one noticed. No one ever looked at my watch and like, oh, your watch is wrong. So, I don't wear a watch, I look at the sun for the time. <laughs> Same, actually, yeah. Hey, Franco, stop. Stop laughing. <laughs> oh. I have a convoke question. Is it possible for one of the spells to be dispel? No. On Sarker last night, our dude dispelled, but he said he convoked, and it must have happened during convoke. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing, no. I'm pretty sure that was just a lie. Convoke does not dispel. 
There's no way. I mean, I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't dispel. <laughs> don't die, poor hash. But yeah, you can look at Warcraft logs and see if this person was actually convoking or not. And then you can see if they pressed the spell, right? If they pressed Nature's Cure. And what is it we want to do? Pull six is not actually a pull, though, right? Wait, pull six is a pull? There's no way you use pull on fortified twenty nine, right? That's a pool. You're joking me. I mean, I would... Like, it would be amazing if it works. But I just have a pretty great feeling that this is not gonna work. But I don't know, like, I've never tried it, I mean... Hey, what are you doing, cat? Don't... Don't... <laughs> hey, kitty. How are you feeling? How was your nap? Hmm? How was your nap? No? We're not going on a desk. Remember? Remember? We're not going on a desk. Cool. No. Don't do it, Sunny. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. <laughs> Full whole dungeon, or I've done this on 16, not very hard. <laughs> Good point. How are you doing, mister? <laughs> Boop. Oh! <laughs> I was, he was like leaning against my hand, and then I moved the hand away, and he just fell off. It's like, I'm not gonna hold you upright, what the hell? This cat! Thinks I'm his uh, butler or something. It's like I'm supposed to hold him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Why are you meowing? Meow. <laughs> what is it, cat? Should. I'm gonna have to play now, and you cannot jump on the desk, okay? Five, four, confirm. Three, confirm. Two, yes or no? One. Is this clear? Very right, good. Okay, you can sit on my lap. That's fine. I'll allow it. <laughs> okay. <Zephyr. laughs> okay. What is it, cat? Hmm? <gasps> what is it? You're so aggressive right now. Mass barrier. 
I'll beam this and vortex. Shielded. I'll roar this. I knock. He has to dive right about now. That's shit. Are you smelling the, the microphone, Sunny? No. Not the desk? What are you doing with the microphone? What are you doing there? What are you doing? Cat! No. Oh god damn it! Well, we didn't wipe. You're stepping on my keyboards, mister. Oh, I see you right there. Are you biting the microphone cable? I mean the <laughs> camera cable. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck. I get wind bolted and wind rushed. Oh no, I see what you're doing, Sunny, and I don't like it. I, s I see you right there. Mask what are you stealing? I'm dead again. Fuck, our tag is dead too. <gasps> I can maybe cut this. Cat, you're running over the keyboards. Frankly, that's a skill issue. Just my bit. Shit. I can do one more. <laughs> Rebuff. <laughs> no, no, no. I was no. fighting for my life and you want me to buff Margaret the Wild? <laughs> Wait a second. Hey, Sunny, what are you doing at a desk right there? I see you. I see you. It is time to leave the desk, Sunny. <laughs> yeah, I see you're hiding. Come here, Sunny. Sunny? Sunny? Come here. Yes, good job. And now we go off the desk. You can sit on uh, the couch or something. Look for me, this. He's a good boy. See him? He's such a good boy. There you go. Okay, do you have a turn it? I do not.
Yeah, our kicks are a little bit bad with a Moonkin and no healer kick. Yes, Nagura Fest is on Thursday or Friday. I don't know. Probably Thursday. Very likely Thursday. Somewhat likely. Yeah, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Mass barrier. <laughs> What's Nagura Fest? It's like jail just works. Yeah, something like that. So we're not pulling the other ones? Or are we? Here we are. Fuck. Okay, wait, this works, this works. Shielded. I'll roar this. It's double on mage and knock. I'm out of interest. Maybe we That's can line them now. They're almost dead. Nice, we did it. All good. <gasps> no! Fuck me. I'm just gonna- all the cast of me. I- I should have just shadow melted though. I should have shut him out with the soldier charge. But I was too slow because I have boomer reaction time. <laughs> I'm not playing Lara yet, no. Oh shit, we have a left. Knock this. I'm resting. Okay, nice. Shielded. Soldier, soldiers. Hi, right, nice. We're 
Lepi's getting focused. But a soldier. I have ink card. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, I'm not dead. Is this an actual pull on Tyrannical? Uh, on Fortified? Zephyr. Triple Prince? I guess they never overlap it, so... Seems like a bit of a scary pull. I think we don't have enough ink drops, first of all. With this comp. Like, this comp is... I don't think this is a VP comp. A 45 VP comp. Like, yeah, this dungeon just needs so many ink drops. Well, maybe we could do it if we would communicate. Like, if we on voice chat, maybe we can do it. But we only have three interrupts and a solar beam. It's not a lot for the vortex. Oh my god, they're all so nice! Can't believe it. Everyone's like, good attempt, well played, G, next time maybe. Can you imagine? Unbelievable. It's like an alternate uh, universe. Also, I literally said I want to play in plus. To get some negative energy, and then they're all just nice like that. <laughs> that is messed up. I put them a fucking tent here, and they are lying on the floor again. I literally put a tent up there. For them. A fort. <laughs> Pillow fort. Speaking of Pillow Fort, I would love a Pillow Fort and watch some uh, shows. That would be pretty nice right now. Big Pillow Fort, watch a show. I don't know which show to watch. I started watching you again. <laughs> the amount of times I try watching the show you, because people say it's a good show. And I started watching it, and every time I hate it. And then after a couple of months, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should try watching you again. Maybe I just didn't give it a good chance last time. And then I watched it again, and again, I just hate it. I, have many I don't know. I just can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Johnny asked if he can stay here in the apartment or if he has to get a hotel. And uh, I don't have an extra room, so Johnny would have to sleep in the living room. 
which means that the cats are probably gonna keep him awake. And I warned him, and he said he's probably fine. But we'll see about that. <laughs> we will see. But yeah, then I need another show to watch. Somebody give me a show to watch. I don't know what to watch. I need something good. I have Netflix, Amazon Video, and Apple TV. Give me one of them. Give me a show there. Foundation. Is Foundation actually good? I could try watching it. I watched Hijack already. I liked it. I don't like One Piece. But I heard it's good. The... The... Life play or whatever it's called. I heard it's good. But I don't like... I mean, I've never watched One Piece and I just... I mean, I did watch One Piece, but I just don't like it. <laughs> Mystery. Jury duty, maybe. Let's look interesting. Oh, huh, maybe I watch that. Thank you, Cross. Jury duty, okay. The crater comes out September twenty nine. What's that? Just the Italian trailer. Quando è scoppiata la guerra, si sono presi cura di me. Meglio di quanto avrebbero fatto gli umani. Non sono persone, Maya. Sono programmazione. Tu andrai in patria. Yeah, it looks interesting. a bit too much action for me i personally don't like it when the main reason why a movie is good is because of like the action scenes which happens a lot lately like that's why i also like completely stop watching any kind of marvel movies i feel like the marvel movies are like super flashy and they they do them really well but the story behind it is just eh. like, there's just no story you could tell the story in, in two sentences, from front to end. So I'm not a fan anymore. Also, that's why I'm not the biggest fan of some action movies. It's not that I don't like action movies at all, but I need the story to be... good. I don't need to just... Like, I can't watch a movie where everything is just about the action scenes and the story behind it is... It's like, oh, a bad guy did something bad, and the good guy is gonna fight the bad guy, and now movie's over, you know? It's like, thanks for the prime, <laughs> Juan Shots. Thank you so much, appreciate that. And I just don't like, so I don't know, like, the action scenes have to also be, like, kept to the minimum, because if 80% of the movie is just action scenes, then I'm just like, eh.
Welcome to Wrexham. I need to write all of this down. Welcome to Wrexham. Oh, it's on Disney Plus though. So it's Ryan Reynolds. But it's a movie or a show? It's a show. It's a sports documentary. It's about football. Eh. <laughs> eh. I don't know about that one. It could be interesting. That's Castlevania. It's an anime. I'm not going to watch an anime. That's not happening. Yeah, I don't watch anime though. I'm not gonna watch it. No matter how much she tries to convince me, I'm just not gonna watch it. I tried watching anime and it's just, um, I just don't like it. It's just not my thing. I watched Arcane. Arcane was good. No, I'm gonna hate this. Like I asked, like I'm watching a trailer right now. There's just no shot I'm gonna like this. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> no, I love Severance. I already watched it. Uh, Severance is an amazing show. I loved it. It was very good. Severance, one of the best shows ever. I love it. Whenever people ask me for show recommendations, I always say Severance. I always say Severance, Westworld Season 1, Patriot, and Fargo. Best shows ever. Now, I don't like the Wheel of Time matter. I'm not into, like, super fantasy stuff. I don't like fantasy that much. I don't like shows that are like super fantasy and super like all made up and so I like it when it's like partially live in the real world. Like for example, um stuff like Westworld is obviously also fantasy and like it'll it's in the future and whatever, but but it could technically happen. You know, like I, I need it to be like somewhat real. In a sense. Say this while playing WoW, but I'm playing WoW not because of the lore or the story behind it. I'm playing WoW because of, you know, the playing part. Yeah, Westworld was super good. Season one was really, really good. All the others, unfortunately, not very. That was very unfortunate. I watched The Last of Us. I liked it. Yeah, it was really good. I don't know what Edge Runners is, Ace. I certainly did not watch that. Ray Donovan? I heard of that before. Oh, it's on Netflix? I 
I watched Ozark. I liked it at the start, and then at some point it just got stupid. At some point I stopped watching. I watched The Last of Us. It was good. I honestly didn't like Succession. I mean, okay, it sounds weird because it's, it's not that I didn't... I don't know, like... I liked it initially, but... Uh, like, it just got, like, too much at some point. It's like, so... I don't know, like... I know that people really love Succession, that it's, like, really well done. And the story's really great, and, like, I don't know, it's just like... At some point I was like, eh... Yeah, the mid was bad. And then at some point people said that it was really good again. Because the story was good. Then mid was bad and I kind of lost interest. And then people said it's gonna be it's really good again at the end. But then I tried watching the mid part so I can look at I can watch the end. But then I kept like um not paying attention in the mid part because I was, you know, like I was not very engaged. And then I just stopped at some point because thinking why would I watch like two seasons of a show that I'm not super interested in just to watch the end that is good again? It's like, yeah, at that point I was like, whatever. I did watch 1883, yes. It was good. I, I like Dark more though. Dark was a lot better than 1883. <laughs> yeah, misery. I watched Breaking Bad as well, yeah. I watched the morning show. And I kind of liked it initially. And then at some point, it like, was like, eh. I didn't like it initially, though. But yeah, I kinda, there's a new season that came out now. I don't think I'm going to watch it. I started watching that satellite and then I cast I, I didn't manage to get into it. Fortunately. I like I love mini mini series. Even if they're not like super great, I just love watching them because they're um you know that they're gonna be over. There's so many mini series that I watched. A lot of them are very good actually. I think the good thing about mini series is that um the people that make the show they know, okay, this is has this has a start and an end. And we're gonna write it from start to end. But then there's a lot of other shows that are that continue, but then they don't initially make them with that in mind. Like a lot of shows that are not miniseries, they write like one season, and then they have to hope that it they, they continue, right? And if a show gets continued after a season, then they the writers have to write something on top afterwards most of the time, right? Because most shows, they're not being written with five seasons in mind, right? That's why I really like miniseries because I always feel like the chance of a miniseries being good is probably higher because they, you know, they write the start to the end and that's it. They don't have to do any cliffhangers or anything, you know? I watched Chernobyl, it's very good. Thanks for the Prime, Gokai. Thank you, thank you. There's so many good miniseries. Like, uh, Chernobyl was one of the best ones. I also really liked... Um, I liked The Night Off. I liked Sharp Objects a lot. Um... I also, yeah, Queen's Gambit was good as well. Then there was Mayor of East Town. Very good. Um, I also really liked um, 
Big Little Lies, even though that's not actually a um, limited series, like they meant it, they actually um, released a season two, but just watch it as a mini series. Big Little Lies, it's very good. I never watched the season two of Big Little Lies because I kind of assumed it would be bad. Because I think the book was concluded, right? Because it's about a book. Big Little Lies is based on a book. And I think the book was like over after season one, right? So I don't know why they would make it. I don't know. But maybe season two is good. I just, I don't know. I just didn't watch it. Because I was thinking it will just ruin it. Also, Fargo, I guess you could consider a miniseries because each season is different. Fargo was re really good. I think there's even a new Fargo season coming out this year. Yeah, each season is different on Fargo. I like it a lot. You watched the act? I did not, I think. I don't, I don't think I watched this. Where's this? Um, I don't know what... Uh, is this on Prime? Not in Prime. Wait, I didn't write all of this down. I need to write this down. Wait. Everybody calm down. Okay. Uh, so, we said... The act. Jury duty. Okay, what else? Your honor, what's that? It's in Prime, okay. Sounds good. I'm gonna write it down. My friend was in an episode of Big Little Lies. Really, you better not. That is so cool. Oh my god, no iPhone, poor person alert. You didn't actually mean that, right? <laughs> Aren't Samsung phones like literally the same price as iPhones? Like literally. Did I want to watch normal people? I don't think I watched that. It's a romance. I didn't watch it, I don't know. No idea. It has good um, reviews. The problem is I can't watch it because it's on uh, Rai. Play. I'm certainly not gonna pay for that. Oh wait, it's for free? Is it? Oh my god, it is for free. What the hell? Wait, but it's probably only Italian. I don't know. <laughs> the mood of the show is a bit depressing oh my god i love depressing shows perfect that's why i keep re-watching grace anatomy <laughs> 
No, don't do that. Dude, why do my cats keep stretching? They're, like, they, they're, they stretch on my legs like this. Hey, stop. No. No, don't do that. Like, they're literally, like, clawing on it, like, on a, on a cat tree. They're clawing on my legs. I think it's because I'm wearing jeans. And they really like their jeans. <laughs> Thanks for 35 months, Anita. What's up? I already got engaged. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I don't know who I got engaged to, but... <laughs> I don't need to know that, I guess. It's okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> Thanks for 31 months. I'm Rush. What's up? <laughs> See you tomorrow, Marcos. Have a good one. It's a guy who asked your dad for your phone number. <laughs> what about a nail flare? For fun. Moon, you wanna come up here? Come. Here. No. No. Moon. Moon. Yes. Good job. And D30, what are you trying to say? Are you telling me I should be married? Because I'm 30? You know, we're not getting married, right, Moon? We may have to get married. I'm gonna be an old cat lady. Playing video games and drinking wine. Speaking to my cats, right? <laughs> We're gonna be perfectly happy. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Are you trying to eat my watch? Don't eat it. It's my watch. Normal. To at least have someone in that age. Is is that normal, huh? I see. Do you have the statistics? <laughs> Statistically speaking. <laughs> All right. Alright. Hey, don't fall. I'm sure you did lots of research on this subject. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm 30 years old. Don't have a husband. And I'm using a Samsung phone. This is just unbelievable, right, Moon? How are we how are we supposed to live like this? Oh my god. And I'm playing video games for a living. <laughs> oh my god. I'm such a screw up. I'm screw up. Yo. <laughs> what is my mom gonna say about all of this? I don't know what good omens is. No, what is that? Don't do it. Don't do it, cat. What are you doing? Stop. I'll be going to BlizzCon, yep. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Next, you're going to tell us you're an AMD GPU user. <laughs> I do indeed have an AMD. <laughs> we have an AMD, right? AMD. <laughs> All right. I mean, we played like three keys today. That's good enough for five hours, right? <laughs> Let's see if we can find another key. We're just queuing up for a 25 again. This one here. Now flare, perfect. And the cats are main coons. Nice. Six thirty. We do like one more key and then we leave, right? I mean, I started streaming late today, so it's already 5. Uh, it's already 6.30, and I only stream for 5 hours. Oh, no. I'm such a bad streamer. And for these 5 hours, I was AFK in Valdraken for 3, at least. We learned so much about yogurt, that is very true, actually. <laughs> that is true, Crows. I'm sorry. Next time. Next time. <laughs> you better perform well, otherwise I'm gonna be shit talking you on stream. Yeah. Starlight having gaped dark rule has trapped a great basilisk mother deep within the vault. You better shape up. If we don't put her down now, he will emerge with an army of trained basilisks. <laughs> hey Mika, what's up? How are you doing? Ah oh, shit, I don't have a turnip. Can turn up here, yeah. I can't believe you're calling the guy a white knight just because <laughs> he's pointing out that you were acquired roots.
That's just not something you say to a person. Like, who says that? I mean, at least it doesn't matter what is true and what isn't true. Like, it's literally irrelevant. <laughs> right? Like, it's not about it being true or false. It's about it being rude no matter what. Like, you're just being an asshole for no reason. And maybe we just don't do that. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, let's ignore it. Man, we got bored for a little while, so we had to give them attention, you know? Man, giving attention to trolls is only happening when we don't have anything else to talk about. So we have to speak about uh, another subject, you know? What is it you want to talk about? What is your opinion about the expansion of space in the universe? What do you think about dark matter, dark energy, black holes, time dilation? <laughs> Tell me all about it. <laughs> Speak the earth is flat. I agree. Honestly, it would be so much easier if the earth was just flat. Did you know that <laughs> this is actually so interesting? I, I literally tell this to everyone. Like, just random people in the street. Did you know? <laughs> Did you know that every planet of the solar system would fit in between the Earth and our moon? If you put them next to each other? Whenever the moon is at its furthest. Now, the moon obviously sometimes is closer and sometimes farther away. When the moon is furthest from Earth, then uh, you can put all planets in between. Yeah? That is... When I read that, I was like, no way. But it's true. That's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, Jupiter is huge. <laughs>
Jupiter would eat everything? Ah, uh, that's something we think about later. First, we stack all the planets next to each other, and then we think about the consequences. Ooh, we want to play Pelters? And this... Okay, whatever. This seems like a... I mean, go for it, go for it. I trust. You heard about the guy who built his own Four, space rocket to three, prove two, that Earth one. was flat? Shit. Can't get my incarn off. He instantly crashed and died, and now the other flat earthers are using him as proof that the government is hiding the truth. What? There is still power within these rocks that should not be destroyed. I'm so confused. Shielded. <clears throat> Tanking this lurker? Tank has has deceased. Kill the Hulk, otherwise I die to the next frontal. Oh, I'm dead. We outranged it. Oh my God, I didn't know you can outrange it. All right, we're fine. Nothing happens. We're so fine. Yeah, we did less. These Trogbar have been tapping into abilities they should not possess. No doubt it has something to do with the latent power still lingering within these rocks. Navarak, betrayer. You would lead these intruders against us. I don't know. How did we go from yogurt to conspiracy theory? <laughs> the funniest conspiracy theory is still the one with Avery Lavigne. Where some people are saying that Avery Lavigne was replaced by a clone. Or something like that. I don't know how you would even come up with that, and why. Yeah, she's supposed- she's like a clone or something. So funny. Because <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> Shielded. And why is it Avril Lavigne? Like? <laughs> It's one of the most common ones, really. That is so interesting. Huh. Have you seen the David Bowie's Kenya West? What? <laughs> oh my god. Zephyr. 
lot of weird evidence? <laughs> like what? <laughs> I'm interested in this evidence. Hey D, thanks for 26 months. How are you doing today? Yeah, I use Plater as my nameplates. I need a clone so I don't have to work. Speaking of clones so you don't have to work, Severance, have you watched it? Juan, have you watched the show Severance? That is an interesting concept. Would you do it? Okay, so let me explain the story of that show. Or the... the, the what is it? Like the, the premise? So, I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't think it's working. Basically, the show is about... Um, a future where... They figured out the technology where you can split your brain into multiple use that you can turn off and on at will. So basically, you can create a second self that is with the same memories as you, the same everything as you. Except that you're only conscious at certain times of the day, right? So let's say uh, you wake up in the morning and then you go to work and when you go to work you turn on your work consciousness so when you get out of work like you basically go in of work go into work and then you go out of work again like you don't remember work at all because during work you're like a different person i mean you're still you but different consciousness and you don't remember whatever you did privately so the person that you are at work only remembers work so your work self basically only works what's the point of that well the point of that would be that you don't experience working Right? So you basically only... You only have free time. Because your work self, you don't remember your work self. It's like, it's like it's a different person that is working for you. Right? That's true, the other side is forever stuck at, at work, yeah. But you don't know this person, right? Like this other you is technically also you, but you never meet them, you never talk to them, you never know them, right? So it's technically you can just not care about your, your other you that has to endlessly work forever. It's like, fuck this other me. I don't know them. It's not me. I don't care about them. <laughs> Shielded. The separate parts do know about each other, but they don't like communicate with each other and there's no information being shared with each other. So, so for example, um, it, it depends when this split is happening, right? So let's say I am splitting from my work self right now then I would remember everything from birth to now. But from here on out, if I would something if something would happen in my free time, then I wouldn't know it. So for example, let's say uh, let's say somebody arranges a marriage for me. Let's say my dad arranges a marriage a marriage for me <laughs> tomorrow. Um, and I'm marrying this um, random farmer. Then my work self would not know that I'm that my private self is married, you know? Let's say I adopt five children in a week, that my work self would not know of that, you know? My work self still thinks I'm single without children, basically, right? So whatever you do in your private life, your work person or self wouldn't know, basically.
<laughs> We're talking about severance, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah if if you if i would get pregnant then of course the work self would know because i mean you're the same person like ev any physical condition um wait what is what does it say your instance lock for naltharian slayer will expire in nine minutes Huh? I'm confused. Hey Danny, thanks for 32 months. What's up? Shielded. What if the work personality wants to date someone from work? Well, they couldn't really because you can't do anything at work. Like you can't date someone at work because you all you all you do is work, right? So if if you're ever only conscious from eight, uh, from eight a.m. to like five p.m. and during that time you have to work, like every hour you have to work, even if you want to date somebody at your office, you wouldn't have the time to do so, right? So I guess. I guess that solves the issue. You can go into the utility closet. True. Good point. <laughs> Attention, Navaran. I want you to see your hero. So none of you would do it? But you could take like a really bad job, you know? They want like you could take a job that uh pays a shitload of money, but it's like a really bad job and you would never do it. But <laughs> if you have a work self, like these what are they called? Like the, the people that clean oil rigs or whatever? Don't they make like a lot of money because like a really difficult job? <laughs> Shielded. You could do that. You. <laughs> oh, I would be terrified of my own work self. Yeah, my own work self would just hate me, right? Well, no, it wouldn't be awful while working because you, like your current consciousness would be the free consciousness, like the one that is only conscious during free time. Your work consciousness would just be a copy of your consciousness that it's not you. I mean, it is you, but you wouldn't be aware of it, right? It would just be a clone of yourself, basically. A clone that lives in your own body. Isn't this your work self? Actually, a question. Maybe I'm talking about this right now. Because this technology already exists. And... I did it. And now I'm trying... This is a cry for help, you know? <laughs> I'm stuck in my work self. And I can't get out. <laughs> all I have to do is play in plus all day. <laughs> and talk. It's horrible! Somebody help! <laughs> How do we help you escape? I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> oh no, Negress and replace Favor Levine! <laughs> Yeah, 
know, Devil Boy, probably. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But anyway, it's a good show, you should watch it. Severance, it's on Apple TV. I actually recommend Apple TV, honestly, even though I don't have any Apple products. But Apple TV is not that expensive, and it has a lot of good shows. Like, even just doing the trial month or whatever, or paying it for one month, it has a lot of good shows. It has Severance, which is super good. It has um, a lot of good mini uh, series. Then it has Ted Lasso. Wait, it does have Ted Lasso, right? Yeah. Then it has For All Mankind. It's also a good show. Then... Hey, me again. The Morning Show is okay. I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, I liked it at the start. Uh, what else? But, oh, Silo. Yeah, it has Silo as well. Also a very good show. Yeah, I only have Apple TV, Netflix, and Prime. I don't know why I'm still paying for Prime, honestly. I honestly should cancel my Amazon Prime. I don't fucking know why I'm paying for that shit. Because here where I live, things don't get delivered fast anyway. I feel like Prime barely makes any difference for me. Because that was the main reason why I got Prime. For just delivering stuff quicker, I guess, right? Yeah. But like no matter if you have prime or not, I feel like it's just the same shit. Shielded. And Amazon video, I don't watch that much on Amazon video. Like I very rarely watch it. They have some good shows on Amazon, but but not often. I don't know. I like the Marvelous Missile, Mrs. Meisel, which was on um, Prime. I think that's... Oh, and Patriot. Patriot was good as well. Then that's about it. Thanks for 18 months, Relo. What's up? Couldn't do this without Prime. <laughs> good point. <laughs> I mean, I always keep forgetting about using my Prime on Twitch, honestly. Yeah? I think I need, like, I need to put a reminder on my phone that reminds me every month or so, but... Twitch is very good at not reminding you that you have Prime. <laughs> They're very good at it. Thanks for Prime, Future Wood. What's up? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I have started Mythic Quest and I didn't like it. I thought it was like way too like over the top. Like, I don't know. Like it just felt like... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't like it. <laughs> Jack Ryan, yeah. That one was also good. I, I watched that one as well. Do you watch most often on streaming? You mean what kind of show? Or do you mean like movies or... I mean, mainly I watch um, shows. And which kind of shows just... Um, just depends, I guess. Shielded. I don't think there's like a specific... kind of show that I like watching, as long as it's a good show. I mainly like watching shows that are focused on, like, just, like, an interesting story, basically, which can be anything, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I do watch 
watch funny shows, uh, uh, comedy shows sometimes too. Um, but I feel like there's not that many comedy shows that I liked. Like, I feel like a comedy show has needs to be exceptionally funny for me to, like, watch it. Because a lot of comedy shows just get, like, cringy or, like, eh. I guess the comedy shows that I watched is, uh, that I liked is, let's see, um, The Office, Modern Family, How Much Your Mother, Scrubs. The New Place, I like that one as well. Might be it? Rip them apart. Uh, I didn't... I mean, I did watch Friends when I watched... When I was much younger. But I can't re-watch Friends now. Like, Friends is not a show that I would find funny now. Shielded. At least not the show that I watched... I'm not the biggest... No, I'm, I don't like horror shows, really. I mean, I don't mind, like, thrillers or whatever. But, like, horror is a bit too much. It's like... Eh. I am sorry, heroes. I must leave you now. Yet know this. I have witnessed your deeds with pride. And I, I did watch a little bit of The Boys, but then at some point I also didn't... Like it that much anymore. What's really good initially, though? Same with this other show. Oh my god, what was it called? Like, something with gods? The gods or something? I don't know. Like, where the people are actually gods? Like, Greek gods? What's that show called? No, I don't think it was Good Omen. American gods! Yeah, that's it. American Gods, yeah. No, I- it's not- I don't- the reason why I don't like horror is not because I get scared. It's because I think... Like, it's just not interesting. Because in- in- like... Uh, the, the purpose of a horror is to get scared. I- I feel like the story behind it- or it's just like, gore. You know? Like, if the only thing you see in horror is like, Oh, someone is getting chased. Ooh, someone is getting brutally murdered. It's like... Like, I'd rather just have an interesting story rather than watching people get brutally murdered. For no reason. It's like, eh. You know what I mean? That's why I like thrillers. But not like the hor horror itself is like... I don't know. And most of the time, let's be honest here, most of the time horrors are just, like, horrors just make me angry most of the time. Because people always act irrationally, and it makes me angry. It's like, yeah, it's really dark, and the light doesn't work, and you heard a noise in the basement. Yeah, let's go check down there. That sounds like a great idea, all by yourself. Yes. We should split up, yeah. We should split up. We're gonna cover more ground this way. Yeah, of course. Sounds great. If you meet the ex-murderer, you just yell really loudly. I will break this world asunder before I let you take my the mountain will gnaw on your bones. It spawned in a tank again. Why is it happening? That's so messed up. I'm gonna focus the boss. 
Shielded. A mountain will gnaw on your bones. Since it. Time to One. End this. Zephyr. The will gnaw on your bones. <laughs> Hear thieves and roars at my command. Barrier. A mountain will gnaw on your bones. One. A mountain will gnaw on your bones. We can kill boss. We also should probably use bloodless. It's too late. I am the shaper and forger of this world. Nice. You gotta have so much haste. Let's go. Keep looting this tank stringer. It seeks a wielder who possesses true strength. Then you were found lacking. It's done, heroes. With Dargrul dead and the hammer reclaimed, the Drogbar are broken. Now begins the uh, long task. Of I mean, Leo there's some horror movies I actually kind of enjoyed. Uh, for example, oh my god, what is it called? Um, the thing with the ghosts. Not with the ghosts, like. Yeah, with ghosts. Hereditary? Yeah, Hereditary was kind of good. Because I think the story was uh, interesting enough for it to not be like super boring or whatever. I liked it. Hereditary is what it's called. Also, um... <clears throat> Also, the movie Get Out. I also liked that one a lot. That was like a, thr a thriller slash horror. I liked that one a lot. I thought it was very good. I think I'm leaving, guys. I might have only streamed for six hours, but in those six hours, we talked about a lot of different things that were very interesting, of course, right? You learned a thing or two, and we played like two keys. Maybe three. <laughs> we did so much while dragon watching, yes. We did not talk about the stairs today. Oh my god. We still had so much to talk about. Oh, we missed out on all of the stairs talk. I can't believe it. Guess we have to talk about the stairs tomorrow. And I don't like Oreos. 
Can you believe it? Okay, yeah. Wait, let's see. So tomorrow... Oh my god, I have nothing to do tomorrow. <gasps> Absolutely nothing! Wait, that's a lie. I need to go to the recycling hove. Wait a second, I almost forgot about that. I have to do that. I'll do that uh, some sometime. In the morning, maybe. I'll think about it. And I guess if I go out and to put the trash away, then I might as well also go and visit my mom for a coffee. And see if she fixed my watch. So I guess I'll stream after that. I don't think we have mystery tomorrow. Pretty sure mystery is on Monday, as always. Right? Wait, did someone say mystery tomorrow? Wait, now I'm confused. We raid Monday, no? <laughs> Para? Para just messaged us this in the Discord, our tank for the EVE Ascension tournament. She goes, For the 30th, I re highly recommend you to, number one, eat latest two hours before the tournament, but please eat. Two, start your day slash before the tournament with some yoga or a 10 to 20 minute walk. Three, drink water, maybe eat some fruits. Four, before you get a routine that gets you in the zone. Apparently, we're supposed to watch this video. When you have that point of view, then literally the world becomes your library to help you to become better at your craft. So because you know what you want, the world's giving you exactly the information you 100 need to become better at it. Because you know what you're looking for. <laughs> we're going to have to watch this so video before tell stories about your work ethic. Yeah. What was really your work ethic like and for how long did you stay disciplined? Um, well, I mean... I mean, every day, I mean, since, you know, 20 years, I mean, it was an everyday process and trying to figure out strengths and weaknesses. For example, jumping ability, man, my vertical was a 40, wasn't a tank life coaching, 45. Um, my hands are big, but they're not massive, right? So you got to figure out ways to strengthen them. So your hands are strong enough to be able to palm a ball and do the things that you need to do. Uh, quickness. I was quick. I am not, they're not massive hands strong enough to be able to palm a ball. Look at his fucking ass. They are massive. Do you need to do. Uh, quickness. I was quick, but not insanely quick. I was fast, but not ridiculously fast. Right? So okay, I am. I'm motivated already. That's it. Thank you, Kobe. Thanks. That's it. We're going to win. <laughs> wait, yeah, wait a second. Why did he not talk about energy drinks? There's no way he managed to be so good without energy drinks. Or at least gamer gummies. But yeah, anyway, I'm leaving. Thanks for watching. Remember to follow my stream if you haven't yet. It's not gonna hurt to follow my stream. Trust me. Just press the button. Or do whatever you want, I don't know. Not your mom. Uh, check out my YouTube channel. My TikTok. My, all the other stuff that I have. <laughs> it's in the description below, just click on it, okay? Or in the chat. It's in the chat too. And now we're gonna host somebody. We are gonna host... Um... Now, who are we hosting today? I'm gonna scroll a little bit, okay? We're gonna host somebody. It's so difficult to find and plus people though. Because the streamer, streamer category is full of um, hardcore players. So let's see. Pushing keys. Camille clicks. Hi, I'm also playing World of Warcraft on a new servers. Alright. Her name is Camille? 
and she plays a disc priest. No, wait, wait, I lied. This is not a disc priest. This is a shaman. <laughs> it's an enhancer shaman. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it's a disc priest because I only looked at one single icon. <laughs> I looked at the action bar and I saw a singular icon and it was spirit shell. <laughs> so it's like, oh, this is a disc priest. <laughs> Sad. If I would have looked at any other icon, <laughs> I would have realized it wasn't an answer. Shaman. <laughs> anyway, she plays an answer. Shaman. <laughs> you can totally start playing the game now. Not a problem at all. Very easy to catch up right now. Feral is good for dungeons? Yeah-ish. <laughs> Maybe? I really want to. Anyway, have fun watching Camille. And I'll see you tomorrow. Alright. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.